don't log in as no. him. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who logged in as Exonog? Who did it? <laughs> no. That's Fuck it. I, off. I'm banning. I'm banning whoever that is. Ban Caden. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dakota! <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't do it. I'm glad I was able to clip that. Who? I should probably turn on hardware acceleration. <laughs> Ban him from this church. <laughs> Hello, Pastor. I have a problem. I keep on looking at lovely hentai. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Let me just look it up here. Oh! Ban him! Ban his account! You are not welcome in this church. <laughs> I figured out how to ping, but I don't know how to do it anymore. How, how to ping? Are you okay, Matt? No! <laughs> I didn't know what? that you could ping. Apparently I pinged the map. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Yo, Joe, how, stop! How, how do I turn down stop the it. sound? Your music so, on tab. the side, do you see like the music tab? It says playlists. Yeah. About, like, oh... Uh, click that. Uh, click the oh, global gotcha. volume controls. Yeah. Put ambient uh, just under halfway, okay. and it's perfect. Got yeah. it. Yeah. There's, thank you. There's nothing I can no do problem. to uh, make it not loud when I first. Yeah, used it, it was so. It was just very really loud. loud. Joe, stop making chat everywhere, please. Hello, <laughs> <Glowed> wars. <laughs> I can't believe no one has found the demo man yet. Oh, I, I forgot about him existing. <laughs> On this page? Yeah, oh, no. I need the XP. I need the XP. I found him. I found him. I found him. Yep. Shit. Why did you do it? <laughs> it's the first time I found <laughs> him first. I'm taking the opportunity. Add uh, 20 <laughs> XP, please. Cave him. <laughs> please, Ooh, someone I, needs to I, save I him. He's being killed. Someone help him! <laughs> How much is it? 20? 20, yeah. Boom. Boom, what up, Solar Look at my bar! <laughs> Look at it! We can't, can't even... see it. Hold on, I didn't save it. Look at my bar! <laughs> I would have leveled up. Meanwhile, I just leveled up and I'm just stealing XP. <laughs> I can't even do my funny. <laughs> All right, I, I'll be right back. I'm I have try to try and make food. a thing okay. for Chad. I Tr a trust me, though, Dakota. I will steal any amount of XP as I can get. I don't become a character until oh, level mm. six. I I found him. I found the other demo man. He's up at the top on the beach. I found him. What? Oh, there he is. I found him. There he is. Okay, uh, I sub subtract <laughs> one XP, Brian. Okay. <laughs> Kabim. 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 <laughs> Kabim. It's it's the demo moon. The demon moon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I just want to see if I can make the funny. Uh, I got. Oh, I speaking. Of what speaking of that song, Michael, I beat the cleric beast on my first try. Really Ryan, nice. Brian yeah. was there next to me on the couch. I did it. Yeah, Zach beat him first try. It was awesome. I was oh, in the fight for like 10 minutes. Then he fought Gascoigne, and Gascoigne shot him with a gun. Yeah. yeah. And then I quit the game. <laughs> so it goes. Yeah. We're Once... it, the brave need, need a hajum fighters. Yeah, as soon as uh, Matt gets back, we will start. The monkey. I am back and I have takeout. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. The monkey not. The monkey's fist. The okay, monkey. Uh, I, gotta, I have to say, uh, Zach. Yeah. 
that the check I just made, that was specifically to see if I could make the one thing for Chad. Do you mean? I did that. The, the, you don't remember from last week? I bought the bag of bones. Oh, right. Okay. I do one, I do one check a session to see if I can craft something for him. <laughs> and that's what I rolled. I would say with a nat 20, you can pretty much uh, make whatever you want from that bag of bones. All right, well, I, I, I told you, you I studied uh, Thanatos things, so I'm going to make him like a, a symbol of Thanatos he can try and channel powers through. Oh, nice. Okay. So I so we I can give it to him and then we can see if it's actually Thanatos or if it's something else. I just got a sick twenty, so <laughs> I'm gonna search for treasure. <laughs> Here, I'll make it real quick so I can keep track of it. I'm digging. You're Roll digging? athletics to dig. X marks the spot. Wait, X. I know that guy. X? I'll knock. No, oh, you think no? That's no. That's the light night of the long, long knives. I think you're thinking of X lax <laughs> long... <laughs> yeah, ain't, ain't that? Anyways, ain't... last week, <laughs> last week, um, you all um caught the mango thief. Uh, you t turned him in, and now he has a uh quote-unquote job at the mango farm. And, God, we're uh, so awesome. Yeah, you guys are awesome. We and, picked uh, him up by his own bootstraps. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then... Uh, Pron was uh, contacted by an old man in his room and mm -hmm. uh, gave him a bunch of information about uh, the island. And uh, I believe... Uh, Chad then got the common cold, and, and then was, the next yep. morning, uh, the the uh, Imperial ship came, took you to the island, and you are now on the beach. Um, you can see in front of you, it's a very dense, uh, very old growth um, jungle. There's birds uh, everywhere. You see insects climbing up the the uh, trees. You see giant seashells on the beach. You see, when you look to your left, uh, off in the distance above the tall jungle trees, um, you see that the, that the terrain uh, gets uh, much higher, uh, almost into a peak. And, uh, with, uh, your supplies and your map, you are now alone on the island of Zlad. I would like to do one thing first. Yes. I have the map that was given to me, and now that I'm on land, can I use these to determine if anything's been changed? Uh, sure, like, uh, like, the map has been changed, or? Yeah, like, like, if you look at the map. Uh-huh. I know we're here on on this beach, right? And I know that we need to go down to this first like magic center mm -hmm. on the way down here. What I want to try and do is see if first everything appears to be loosely right, and then see if I can determine distance, like how far it would take for us okay. to get here. Yeah, go ahead and uh, make a check with the uh, tools. Seven. Seven. Um. It looks, it, upside down. it looks like the map is well made, and you assume by the ge the geography that you can see from the beach that you are definitely in this general location that is um, circled, um, and that maybe the really you notice that there really isn't any sort of um, way to measure distance on this map. It's more of just like a uh, map for a general layout of the island. But you assume that um, it probably isn't terribly far. Maybe like a two or three hour walk, perhaps. Got a long way to go and a short time to get there. 
I'm ready to try. Does anybody need anything before we start officially going through the jungle? Everybody good? Hello? Oh, I just... <laughs> what has happened? Oh. <laughs> He's too big. Shrink him. He's... Oh. Shrink him. Oh, no. I have to. I have to give you. I have to give Chad something. I gotta give him something. Oh, uh, what? I made this for you. Hold on, uh, I gotta make it before I give it. Is it a rock? What is it? And Hold Chad on. will like kind of pass it back and forth in his hands. Arr! It's a symbol of Thanatos. It's expertly crafted. Oh. And it, it should work as a magical focusing device. Uh, okay. So next, time, next time you try to cast your magics, cast it through this and we'll see if it's Thanatos. If not, we're getting closer to, to helping you out and get that necklace off you and stuff. I'll try to cast uh, Detect Poison and Disease through the, the new necklace. Okay. Does it, does it work? Go ahead and make a re a religion check for me, Chad. Either before or after the spell. It's, it's up to you. Okay. You um and then the the do I cast the spell? Or... Uh you or are I... able to cast the spell. Yes. <laughs> Did it work? Uh, hold on. I'm one. looking. I'm looking for it in my spell list. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, do I have to add it? If you didn't add it before, yes. Uh, what's the name of the spell? Detect poison and disease, right? Yeah, I just added it. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> Is he, uh... Actually, do I detect disease or poison? Fuck. You... <laughs> Let me see. Aren't I sick? You do d detect the common cold. Oh. You also d detect some sort of poisonous beetle over here on the edge of this tree. Oh. Don't grab it, you fool! I'm gonna Wait, it's grab it. Venomous. You're fine. And put it in my pocket. It'll just crawl out, but. I I'll. Pinch it closed. <laughs> uh, make an animal handling check for me. Um, as you pick it up and put it in your pocket, um, you do um, feel a slight burning sensation on your hand. Actually, are you wearing gloves? Do you wear gloves at all? No, I think that makes it harder to cast magic. Right, right. Um, yeah. And you see that the skin on your hands is a bit red, but it's just kind of, like, itchy. Oh, well. I might need this later. All right. And, uh... Oh, I actually have a, a pouch. Oh, nice. I, I will take my pouch off the side of my backpack. And, uh... You know when you put a bag over a trash can upside down? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, like, try to cover the opening of my pocket. And then push it through without touching the beetle, like, through my fabric. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do that. 
you see this um, beetle is uh it kind of has this um this sort of like shiny uh black uh exoskeleton um and uh it just its legs are kind of just like uh trying to walk as you put it in your pouch perfect any treasure in these X's? <laughs> X would, does mark the spot. Would you like to dig on the beach for treasure? Yeah. Okay. Well, everyone else is talking. We're done. We're all ready to go. Yeah, I oh. think everyone's ready to go. Oh. Yeah, Zort's just sharpening his up. weapons. Getting okay. stuff together. Right. Getting getting certain stones that may be made wet. Yeah, he's using the wet stone. How much you pay for it? Uh, one copper, I'm pretty sure. That seems a little low, don't you think? Maybe if I don't know, maybe we need to raise that. The lock. The lock. <laughs> Sorry, that was a misinput. Not equipped. Okay, so th let's go to the jungle. Woo! Going into the jungle? Tour to destination number one. I hear they have fun and games. <laughs> you gonna <laughs> die! I'm not super familiar with the, the jungle. Is it kind of like a swamp? Kinda. <laughs> Why? What? You posted the fucking Metal Gear plot. Yeah, it's kind of like a swamp, but imagine if a swamp was even hotter and more dense. With interesting, I'm not sure if I'll be a whole lot of help in terms of uh, finding the best paths, but I'm all ready to go. Let's go. Yeah, in terms of the uh, weather, it's uh, it's raining. It's not like super hard, um, but uh, even with the storm and the uh, wind. Um, you do, uh, it is probably still about, like, I would say, like, 78 degrees, so it's, it's, uh, it's a bit hot, even during a storm. Um, though you imagine that the storm has significantly kind of, like, cooled it, but, um, alright, so you guys are heading, uh, like a... Southwesterly direction. Yes, mostly following the beach, I think. Okay. Because that seems to be what we need to do. All right. Traveling south, then, um, about oh maybe half an hour goes by, and as you go south, the beach kind of gets um smaller and smaller, and pretty soon. You're kind of forced into the um, jungle as the beach kind of turns into this um, rocky kind of like cliff face that butts up to the uh, ocean and the edge of the um, jungle. Um, and now that you're sort of under the um, canopy, uh, you hear um, you hear all sorts of birds and what you assume to be like. Uh, small, like, m monkeys kind of, ho like, hollering from the, um, treetops. Uh, every now and again, you'll see one kind of scurry up a tree. And, um, after about another hour, so it's been about, uh, I'd say almost two hours now of you kind of traveling south. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, it would be Zort. Zort, as you are, um, as you're kind of walking with the group, you, um, mm -hmm. you notice that there is this kind of, um, 
Let me see. You see that there is this uh, kind of like tall bush with these bright blue um, uh, like f uh, flowers that bud off of, um, the stem. And you see that at the base of it, uh, you almost see something beyond the leaves inside, uh, sort of like dart past. And it catches your hmm. attention. Uh, fellas, I think we might have uh, someone following us or something. I saw something in the tree in the leaves over there. Assuming it's a person, it's gonna be probably one of the the druid's minions. So, it is of my opinion, uh, if we could avoid direct manslaughter, that'd be pretty good. But. Self-defense right. is important. Don't let them kill you. Alright, uh, I guess ready weapons, but, uh, let's try to keep things casual here. As you start to walk again, you see now that there is a, like, a bit of a, uh, a, like, a very small, kind of, like, creek, um, off to your right as you're, as you're going south. And, um... There seems to be a bunch of bushes, uh, kind of like on the side of the creek, and you see, um, Prond, you're actually the one to see now that you're kind of looking out for these. You see that there, uh, is a rustling in a bush, and towards the bottom you see a a uh, a small uh, eye that is sort of like staring at you, and when you look over at it, it sort of darts back deeper into the bush. I'm going to alert everybody to what I have seen. And can I make like an investigation to see if anything else is currently here? Um, yeah, sure. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Um, as you look around, you actually see that there are uh, like you kind of like kick some leaves around, and you see that uh, all around you guys, there are these very tiny, uh, like, um, footprints that seem to be of some sort of animal. Uh, sort of, like, all around you guys. It's not, it's not a spider. <laughs> um, they seem to be, uh, you see that there are, it... It's not very deep uh, footprints, and seems like uh, it, it, whatever it is, it's, it seems to be bipedal, and it seems to have, like, two kind of, like, toes. But every now and then, you see one that has, like, a third one that kind of scrapes the ground. It's a very interesting Mo track. Moki. Well, I'll, I'll let everybody know what I've seen, and I guess we'll just go really slow and keep really, like, fine-tooth comb. Comb the desert. We ain't found shit. Okay. You continue... Ralph does not have a big enough comb for that. <laughs> you continue about 50 more feet, and then you hear this strange kind of, like, uh, like, cry. It kind of sounds like a bird at first, but you kind of start hearing it, like, in front of you from many different directions and um let me quickly double check one thing so the area that you're in here's what it kind of looks like 98%. I'm still loading a lot. You're loading? Yeah. 98% jungle. <laughs> I sneezed. Whoa. I'm to refresh. I'm looking now. It's jungle. Whoa. Oh, no. That's a lot of darkness. A rock.
Can you see now, Brian? No, I'm still loading in. Oh, okay. I'm still... I reloaded. I'm at 98% again. Okay. Uh, okay. Probably be a second. Oh, uh, it's at 100, but it's... There we go, I'm in. Okay, there we go. Oh, what? Oh. On your guard, Ben. Don't make the first blow, but don't let yourself be slain. And in the bush right in front of you, Zort, you see something peek its head out. And, like, right here, where my cursor is, you see this thing staring at you. This thing? <gasps> yeah! Oh, there's a very <laughs> tiny reptile-like bipedal oh. uh, looking thing that's about the size of a turkey. Kind of just staring at you. Hello there. Uh, can Zort see, think if he's ever seen an animal like this before? That's cool looking. Make a, Zort uh, is really... Yeah, make a... Uh, look kind of like him. I'll ever see Jurassic Park 2. Make a history check. Uh... Um, there you go. You see, uh, now that it, it, it it's kind of like slowly inching towards you, and you see that its feet are very unique. And um, mm -hmm. you've definitely heard of this creature. You think it's probably a uh, velociraptor. Oh, so uh, does Zort, what does Zort know about these? Are these like dangerous? Are these going to be like, um, should he feed it? Like, you he's know, debating like putting some food in his hand. You know that they're definitely carnivorous. Um, but oh, they're okay. really only dangerous in, in uh, like, numbers. In... Stumpy? Is that you? Oh. My long uh, lost friend? Chad, that's that's not Stumpy. That's a Velociraptor. And as you look uh, around... Everyone check around you. you s yeah, as you all start to look around, you start to see more of them. Uh oh. Oh, this isn't Stumpy. Well. This is bad. And uh, you hear the uh, one ne next to you, Zort, just kind of let out this, like, extremely high-pitched kind of yelp. And all of a sudden, they all start uh, running at all of you. <laughs> and that's where we're going to start oh. combat. Form up. I come back and the first words I hear is we're gonna start combat. What happened? <laughs> Velociraptor. We're fighting Velociraptors, Michael. What? As in D and D? What? Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, in the, they're in the they're in the monster manual. They're in the they're monster, monster manual. <laughs> monster mash. <laughs> it was a graveyard remember, smash. I if you remember correctly, uh, the finest chef in all of Play of Glad was once turned into a. Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I thought that was like dinosaurs a are certainly in the no, no, no. Those are it's, it's a stat homebrew. block. It's a stat block for like every dinosaur. That's pretty They're, cool. Uh, it's also, in mostly in the I'm, I'm sorry to me. sidetrack, but I like I I, th I hope you saw that. I needed to go put up my dog. Um, did oh, the sorry, funny did magic magic work with uh, Chad? Uh, it, it did. Yes. Oh, it did. So I, it does seem like Chad is genuinely bound with Thanatos. That's what it seems like. Alright, everyone, oh, oh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll for me. There used to be a button right there. Uh, can it. you make your bot come online, Joe? Because I accidentally deleted my bot. <laughs> and I have not had oh, time to It should to be on, it online already. Oh, it is? Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. An... How do I roll? Yeah. Is it? Aqua Combat State. Yeah, and then you go over to the, uh, what? To the fist go. icon. Oh my god. <laughs> You guys can put on your uh, own music, but this song has been stuck in my head for days. So I'm gonna play it. Let's hear. It. Where I, um, where is it? I don't see it. I have the like, the combat encounters thing. But... No, I love this. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I don't see the fist icon. Where? Oh, sorry. It's a uh, it's a cross sword. It's 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 right to the right of chat. 
Yeah, and then where do I click in here? There's no button for me. I'm snippeting that. Oh, That's uh, so funny. you, uh, there we go. It's a, uh, yeah, uh, if you right click on your, um, token, it's the bottom right thing. Is how you, uh, oh, I'm dumb. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It's okay. Oh, damn, I'm, I'm really nervous in a while. <laughs> My god. <laughs> D&D commands. <laughs> so many velociraptors. Yeah, but fucking, a lot of us are apparently ready to rumble. <laughs> we were ready. We, we knew they were watching us for a while. Haven has never even heard of a velociraptor. Why does it not have one? Yeah, he's he is like the Shire folk. They, the Shire they haven't folk, seen yeah. they haven't seen anything outside of their own little realm. You I'm so glad. So it's been reading his beast theory for fun that he knew what these were. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is everyone in combat? Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. They are. Yeah, it looks like everyone is. Okay. Don't Let look me at the top of the. To Okay, Prawn, it is your turn. You see the one gotta... next to next to Zor is about to like run at him. How far away? Oh, that's uh, five, fifteen feet. Five feet. There are also two. This one's to your right as oh, well. Oh, I see them now. They're really camouflaged. Yeah, wait, they are very wait, camouflaged, but you can what just about the... barely make them out. Wait, which? I thought the one closest to me was the uh, one dead nuts in front of me, basically. It that's is like yeah. five feet. No, uh, Prawn was asking. He's 15 feet away. Oh! Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I love this song so much. Uh, can I take my bonus action first? Yes, you don't have to do it in order, I don't think. And I'm gonna take a bonus action to try and hide. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Okay. Let me, uh... <laughs> this is what I love about, um... Uh, like, Plutonium Import and stuff. Is that you have a full, like, like character sheet for each bad man. So I can actually roll to see if he sees you. Uh... Alright. Uh, I would say you probably hide in that kind of large bush to your right. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna uh, try and snipe the one going to the Zord. Okay, yeah. I would say you can get the shot off. Right? Ron, be like. I gotta add. What is it? Uh, I'm level 2, so I get 1d4. Uh, For a sneak attack? It's yeah, 1d6. 1d6. 1d6, so I gotta add a plus. So. Six. And I don't get advantage, right? Definitely not. Oh, you hit anyways. <laughs> oh, I rolled the one d six, so. Oh. I gotta redo that. Cause I'm not. I can't take that. I put the one d six wrong. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll mull that count. One d six is for the damage, not the attack. Yeah, yeah. I I forgot. So. It didn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, uh, go ahead and roll for damage. Ten, alright. Uh, Zor, you see, um, an arrow, uh, fly by you and stick directly into the side of this creature. Uh, and mm -hmm. they, they seem very, um, pretty light. As it sort of, like, flies over to, like, right here. And it falls over, and it looks to be dead. Hmm. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's not. Plus dead. All right. This track fits way too well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Paralyzer is definitely the, for, the best song for this encounter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and I believe that's your turn, unless you would like to move. That, I will move back a little. Okay. Directly into unseen velociraptors. <laughs> well, then I'm moving to here. <laughs> All right, Zor, yeah, it's your I turn. Woo! So, uh, uh, since the one in front of him seems to be uh, dead, mm -hmm. uh, 
Zort sees the ones that we see on the map, right? Yes. Like, I think what he would do is he would cautiously, like, um, like, seeing that, like, we're on a pretty strong grouping, he would move to defend Relb. So he moves up to here and then attacks the Velociraptor, because I have reach. So, uh, I can hit it from there. Okay, yeah. Uh, that misses. Th this thing is is, uh, uh, is surprisingly small, and it seems to be very uh, nimble as well. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> um. Does does this count as an item? Uh. Oh wait. Uh. I don't know. If Does one second? Does this count as an item interaction? I don't. Uh, let's say. No, oh, it's an action. Never mind. You, yeah. I have a plan. <laughs> Putting a bear trap down. I've had it since the beginning of the game. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> All right, that's the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> the janitor. All right, it's the one that you just tried to attack's turn. It's gonna run up. This is Steel Ball Run, you're thrown to a dinosaur! Mm -hmm. Oh no! And uh, you see this thing kind of open its mouth, and you see just uh, a, a row of extremely sharp looking teeth uh, kind of open and it kind of lunges at your leg. Oof. Careful, Rail. I bet the, these things could eat you Natural in a bite or two. <laughs> uh, damn. It, uh, you just kind of, like, sidestep it, and it, it, it angry, it angrily kind of looks back at you, and you see it lunge at you, and it is going to kind of swipe at your knee with, uh, one of its arms. Uh, tin? I do... No, that is not it. Uh, but you are simply too fast for this dinosaur. It's its turn. No, it hit me! Hey, pal! Chad, it is your turn. Um... I will cast... Less on Kron, Cavan, and Ralph. Okay. Your new funny Cavan. <laughs> Cavan. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. That's so super useful. It like is. Being yeah. able to ping. I, I wasn't aware you could do that. They just added it. Ow, That's so it. you. You go to the initiative tab and hit. The, like, oh. pink I've been keeping That's so track useful. of my prepared spells in, in the Google Sheet, <laughs> so I don't have them all. Can I prepare your spells? Oh. oh, I do have them. Here's where a Leo Pluridon comes out of the muck. <laughs> no, oh no. I looked over all the um. Dinosaurs, and sadly, it's pretty much only the well-known ones that have uh, like official stat blocks. Mhm. Mm like Tyrannosaurus, uh, long neck, uh, funny guy. The fuck did you just call them? Long neck from Lamb yeah. of Time. Holy shit! That I feel. You know how many times I've seen that movie? Motherfucker! I used to watch those things every day when. I had like the whole. I think I've walked the VHS. I have most of them on VHS, yeah. Yo! It also doesn't help in this scenario that Kaven looks like Chris Pratt in Jurassic oh, Park. 
he's got his hand <laughs> out, like he's gonna try it. I'm gonna go through the alpha. <laughs> does he not look like Chris Pratt? <laughs> yeah, he does. Chris, a little so, bit. Chris Pratt? A little bit. Chris Pratt found the iron sword from Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. Ron, Caitlyn, and Relp can add a d4 to an attack or a saving throw. How many times? Once, I, think. I believe. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's until the spell ends. Yeah. Oh, which is, I believe it's a minute because I remember trying to take this once. Yeah, it also, I think awesome. if he breaks on, it also breaks. Yeah. All right. And okay. Would you like to move or do anything on your bonus? Uh, I will search uh, north um, from like. West to east, kind of just scan. Okay. See if I see any walls or raptors up there. All right. So you're gonna keep an eye up there. Next up is he's dead. Well, it is your turn. You see a, a bunch of a uh, of a uh, scaled turkey-looking men. I'll run up here. Okay. They're probably like half the size of Relp. Relp, yeah, that's probably as well. It was like. Can't double kick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, are you trying to uh, get the one to yourself next to Zord? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll for damage for me. Okay. Eight. Zort. <laughs> you, uh... Ah, fuck! You get hit in the back of, a, of the head with a, a, a uh, moat of fire. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh... Oh, come it, on! It singes the back of your head. And Rel, you see as you accidentally uh, headshot Rel your good friend. <laughs> as soon as he sees it hit Zort, Relb sticks both his hands behind his back and starts whistling. <laughs> so it's like Zort touches the back of the, his head and like takes his hand away and just like some like scales come off onto his hand. Yeah. And like he the just scene looks at the boss. <laughs> yeah, and he looks at his head. <laughs> He looks at the Velociraptor in front of him, confused, and sort of looks around quickly, into, <laughs> and then starts focusing back on the Velociraptor, <laughs> not understanding what happened. Grub got away with it, hell yeah. <laughs> no one will ever know. Alright, anything else you'd like to and do, Rob? No one <laughs> will ever know. I'm gonna say uh, you used your uh, bonus to uh, you look like you didn't do it. I mean, it's not like I could do much of anything with a bonus action anyway. Hey, look whose turn it is. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Let's make a rainbow for me. Oh, oh me, that's, uh, that's my bad. I did the wrong yeah, you, turn. It should have been the yeah. one down south. Well, he's going to go now. He's going to run up here. And he's going to try yeah, to attack on. the resort. And he's going to do it. What a fool of a Velociraptor. He doesn't even... He's going to mm -hmm. do it both attacks with advantage, because they have pack tactics. Oh You're my, I was just going to make a joke about <laughs> You're going to die! He runs up and is going to try to attack you. That definitely hits. Alright, and then, yeah, it, it, it bites on to your leg and, and like, is rapidly moving its uh, head around to kind of force its teeth deeper into your leg. And uh, you see as it's doing that, it, uh, both of its um, hands uh, sort of like grab on uh, and uh, like onto the back of your leg and it's just gonna try to like uh, rip its claws down the back of your leg. Eighteen. Yep, that hits. Yeah. And that's another three, so that's six. 
and uh, it finally lets go and kind of jumps back so but uh you're I, i'm gonna say it's your you're walking south so it's gonna be your left leg is pretty messed up now <laughs> Oof. and uh, zort is not looking good that's zort. this one this one's going to run up to who is closest, and that's Kaven. And it's going to make its attacks on you. Well, Zort, I don't think these are undead. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, I'm glad I read a little bit of the beast, Jerry. Miss. Miss, alright. And it's going to make a claw attack on you. 16. Hit. Hit. It, uh, it runs up, and, uh, it kind of, like, jumps up and kind of, like, uh, side-slashes your, uh, left thigh on the, on the outside. And then it kind of jumps back. But it is now your turn. Is it? All yes. Right. Cave is going to kind of look down at it and, and yell out, What are these things? And uh, Kaven's gonna pull out uh, the the sword made of tiger bone that he had made, and a faint blue light sheds across us as he slashes down at the um, the fella's head. All right. Uh, Add a okay. D four. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> Nine. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep. that misses that you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Next up. This man. So this man, uh, you see after you recover from your swing, this man is uh, kind of like running a at you. Um, and then all of a sudden it kind of stops and looks down to the south. And like you see it like lower its like head, its head. Almost like it's trying to hide, and then it lets out this this uh, high pitched kind of yelp, and uh, all the other Velociraptors that are alive kind of like turn to it, and uh, it is going to use the rest of its movement to run up here. It seems to be running away for some reason, and let me quickly check something. wrong thing. Sorry, one moment. This goes hard, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, just in range. <laughs> uh, so, Kaven, you kind of inst instinctually kind of look where the, the Velociraptor looked. And you start to see, it almost looks like, um, like a tree is falling over or something, but then you see, uh, these two large eyes getting rapidly closer, and you start to feel the ground shake. Oh, uh, which direction is this? Is to it... the south. To the south. And, uh, it's gonna get its surprise round. <clears throat> uh... I see. I'm filled with dread for what is approaching. You see as a massive dinosaur looking like creature oh, fuck. runs out from beneath the trees and is coming straight <laughs> at you, Kaven. This thing is massive and it is running extremely fast. And it just kind of runs uh, straight at you. Uh, 
and it's gonna open up with uh you see it reach down with one of its two uh kind of long human-like hands it can breathe fire dear god we should be glad it's not a fucking therizino uh sin nice okay astronomical amount uh, you uh, see that the sort of momentum of it uh uh, suddenly trying to stop, um, uh, kind of messes with its swing and it goes right over your head. And you're very lucky that missed because it has pounce. Do you know what that does? Yes, Ooh, I boy. do. <laughs> Ooh boy, yeah. Uh, even though I have the most health in the party, <laughs> I probably would die. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing that missed. Uh, now I'm gonna have it actually roll. And, uh, the attack? Damn. No, no, uh, in, it, it, initiative, I mean. Oh. Allosaurus. Allosaurus. It should have been one of those giant fucking gators. What are they called? <laughs> the big gators, the, yeah. The astronomically large ones that are the Dinos size of the school bus. Dinos I believe right. it's Dinos We should have fought the guy that came out of the primordial suit. <laughs> a sarco. A sarcosaurus. Uh, Prawn, it is now your turn. You see this, this massive still, creature. Is this one still trying to, like, run away? Uh, it is, yeah. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hide. Hmm. My bonus action. Okay, make a stealth check. Attempt to hide. Your attempt to hide, yes. All that matters is that this one can't see me. Yeah, go ahead and do your attack, but I would say you don't have advantage. Alright. Uh, well, I wouldn't get advantage anyway, but I don't get stealth. Yeah. But I do get plus uh, 1d4 from the bless, right? It's yes, you do. That's for damage, I think, though. No, it's attack. attack. Oh, okay. Not, not damage. Mm. 13. That hits. Five damage. An arrow uh, pierces into the base of its tail, and it kind of stumbles, but it seems to still be going. Uh, that's both my actions, so... Uh, control. I still have my movement. I'm gonna go over here to roll. That's it. That's all I can do. Okay. Zort. <laughs> yeah. You are surrounded, very hurt, and you saw just a giant, uh, you know this to be an Allosaurus, to try oh. to rip <laughs> Haven's head off, but it missed. So, uh, what are, does Zort know anything in particular about the Allosaurus? That he um, could, like, yell out, like, you know, yeah. that's not good, that's an Allosaurus <laughs> right there. Um, I would say... You were mostly trying to study uh, undead. You probably yeah. know that this is an Allosaurus, but that's it about like it. Matchbox 20. You can tell that uh, it's definitely uh, looks to be pretty tough, though. Oh. Uh, are you guys okay? I'm sure not. And what's going to use his action to to drink this fella? Okay. Go ahead and press the healing button. Well, at yeah, Zooks. Uh, he's all almost back to full health. Yes. And let me hedge my bets and see if I have anything that can use a bonus action. Okay. There is a bonus action sorting button. I'm aware. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I'm in danger. I I'm. I, I think that's. I think that's the end of my turn. Okay. I guess so. It's just gonna fucking uh, probably turn away from the 
little guys just shell to them and just look at the Allosaurus now because these things are he assumes are gonna run away or hide behind me. <laughs> I'd be content with that. I, I, I'd forgive and forget. Um, if they right. help. This one. This one is going to... Oh, in case you were wondering... Sorry, what? Go ahead. So it's... Zord, just after drinking that potion... That potion did not taste good! As he throws the bottle on the ground. Or what happened to the creature? <laughs> the no. glass shards will make a land by Caltrops. <gasps> <laughs> it is going to. Can't get both of us at once. It is going to run up here, so that means uh, Zort and Rill, you get an opportunity attack on it if you would like. Oh, um, which one? Uh, this one up here. The one that was right next to you. It went. Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, you know how I said Zort forgives and forgets. Mm-hmm. Hearing movement real quick, he he spins his halberd around to clothesline it. Okay, go for it. Twenty-three. All right. Go ahead and roll for damage. Seven. I would say you just uh, sort of like hear movement and you swing, and uh, with this kind of giant uh, like axe blade on the end. Uh, you definitely hit it, and it is very hurt. Uh, and you also hit the one right next to you as well. Is they're kind of like in, like right beside each other, and you just happen to get both of them. And uh, route if you want to make a uh, attack of opportunity, if you would like to. Hey, hang on. Uh, I don't think you can cast a spell. Yes, I was about to mention that. If he was going to try and fireball it, it must be a melee. Mm -hmm. No, he the hammer. Rel was pulling out his light hammer. <laughs> that hit. 17. Alright. Going to roll for damage, then? One. <laughs> Alright. You bonk it on, on, on the head, and it kind of, like, rolls over, but it quickly gets back up and darts it in into a bush. Quick, someone give the some, someone give the Allosaurus meat. Uh, Chad. Sorry, good Chad. Well, oh, wait, oh, Rel forgot to use. I guess I'm the one that has to deal with this. I'll uh, As if step Kevin's up. not right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll step Chad's up stepping and up. I will uh, bring my war hammer upon <clears throat> his feet. Chad's not okay. the stepfather. He's the father that stepped up. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that my two handed? Not proficient. I'm proficient. He is, yeah, I don't know why it says that. You might want to edit that because it's not going to give you your proficiency bonus. Motherfucker, don't even get proficiency bonus. Laugh at him. I don't oh, have mine either. Fuck! I need to turn that on! I, pressing 4 makes you move. Good to know. <laughs> it does? It's claw. Nope, that makes me... That makes me claw. <laughs> Fix my proficiency. It, no. it makes I claw it that well. I cannot delete. Oh, claw deleted. Oh, claw's back. Claw's deleted. Warhammer. Warhammer. Not permission. <laughs> Just roll to attack. It's fine. We can add the plus two for right now. That's, so that would be 14. Oh, wait, no, sorry. 12. Wait. Do I have to roll the attack first? Isn't that what you just. Oh! You rolled. Damn! Damage! Yeah! Roll the attack. <laughs> 
Uh, and then that's Ironically, that is 14. <laughs> yeah, that is 14, and that hits. And I'm, I'm just going to say that you do 10 damage because you already rolled that. Okay. <laughs> I absolutely love this model you have. Is, was it's, this just in there? Is this no, a... no, I had to get this from online. It's it's really high res. I don't like it. It's very... Yeah, what is this from? I, I oh, um... Uh, I... Dinosaur Hunt? No, I went to, um... The, uh... The, uh... Jurassic Park uh, base building game, whatever it's called, and I got the model. Oh, from it. Uh, what's the name of that game, Matt? Do you know? What the like park? Uh, Jurassic World Evolution. Yes, yeah, that one. Yeah, uh, that's what that's from. I have yeah. both of them. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's. That's the Allosaurus. I want to say that that's the one from uh, Evolution Two. It is, yeah. I got the newest one. Anyways, you do two, you, you do ten damage to it. Uh, really, he's doing the Skylar White yo face. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh -huh. You uh, told me everything. Uh, the uh, you just kind of like crunch its like knee, and it sort of it sort of angrily uh, looks down at you as it is now its turn. And uh, you see it open it, its massive jaw and is attempting to, uh, from your perspective, just kind of lower its neck down and bite your head off. I'm ready. How are you? 19. Does that hit? Right? Make a Halo reach reference to my presentation. It does. <laughs> oh god. And oh it's god. 12 damage. It. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it. It lowers its neck, and it. Uh, it basically. Um, you try to move out of the way, but it bites on to like on top of your head, and you just feel this like horrible like s like scraping on your skull. And a horrible sens sensation, and finally you hear a crack. And, He's uh, eating me. It, He's it, eating it pulls me. up, and uh, Caven, you kind of glance over, and you see that his that the that the top of his head is completely covered in blood, and he seems to be missing a horn. Oh, you know what time it is. <laughs> yep, going to make sure. Twenty-four. Oh, I felt crit. Okay. Uh, all right. Go ahead and roll for damage. Eight. Uh, as it is uh moving its uh head back up, you uh like slice it right ac across its face. Oh, um. Mm -hmm. Rain check. Um. Can Chad make his constitution first? He Please. needs to make a concentration. Thanks for bless. That. For bless. Oh, right. You yeah. need to do a constitution check. Uh, I don't check. know how to roll that. You just click constitution and click saving throw. Yeah. Uh, how much damage did he take? 12. Uh, he took 12. He, need to, he needs to get higher than a 12 to remain concentrated. Right, yeah. He does not. Right, okay, so, um... I'm gonna roll a 1d4 and subtract that from my first attack. Oh, right. How'd you... Oh. Uh, okay. Um, let's see... How do I just normally roll? It's, uh, slash R space. Okay, subtract Ooh. 3 from that. I got a 21. Does 21? that still hit? 21? That still hits, yeah. Okay. And then 21. for my... next attack... That's a 10. And that does not. Yes. You. Right. That's a tan. You try to get one more um, blow on to his face, but he is too fast. Next up is Relb. You just saw Chad almost lose his head. Serves that bitch right. Uh, Relb put some distance between himself. And the big one. Right? Right? Mm hmm. Fireball. Fireball. Okay, that hits. 
Eight. Eight. All right. You hit it. Uh, it's wizard time. You hit it like square in the face, and it just kind of like snaps its its head over to you. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm suddenly regretting my life choices. Uh, next up is the Velociraptor. That one. Yeah. Uh, it was running away, but now that it got hit by you, it looks very mad, and it's going to uh, cool. make its attacks on you. I accidentally looked up YouTube Yawnloader. YouTube Yawnloader. I was looking for a YouTube downloader for something, and I looked also, up YouTube downloader. Uh, it just kind of like, uh, <laughs> it, it tries, but it's very hurt, so it just, it just starts to Scratching run. Scratching the shield. If you would, uh, and oh it's a, uh, you cannot, because you've already used your reaction, I believe. That was the mm -hmm. same, yeah. Um, but it is run by... Um, Prawn, have you used your reaction? I don't think you have. I have not. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and make an attack if you would like to. Oh, uh, it has to be melee, so... Yeah. Stab, stab, stab. Nat <laughs> I'm making a fucking shish kebab. <laughs> yeah. 17 damage. Uh, it was on 3 health. Um... Ah. You... Uh... How do you absolutely demolish this Velociraptor? I'm gonna literally skewer it through its side, and it's gonna squeal around and then die on my blade. <laughs> awesome. Okay. I'm gonna lift it up in the air Fuck so it up. can't run away. <laughs> okay. You, uh, you see the one to the north of you almost look back and it seems to have a single tear in its eye as it runs Next. to the bush. Which rope was still here? I'd get my bonus. Ah, I can't. Uh, finish. the. <laughs> I forgot about this Velociraptor. Yeah, I, I pointed out earlier he's sharing the space with the big one. Yeah. It's a. Uh, I actually can't even click on him. Hold on. There we go. He's gonna attempt to run away. Uh, go ahead and. He does. He does. Except, the Allosaurus has its reaction. <laughs> so, oh, uh, God. <laughs> it's going to kind of funny. It's going to swipe over at I don't think Velocity. we're supposed to win this. I don't <laughs> Uh it actually misses. Wow. <laughs> it is simply too fast for it, it and it runs uh, over here. Apex prey. <laughs> Apex if it prey. was such a thing. Yeah. Hey, when I stab that fucking Velociraptor, I want this to play. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kaden, it is your turn. Right. You saw Chad right next to you almost just get de decapitated. Four around him, blinking! Uh, so, Kaven, having seen the monstrosity that just happened to Chad, uh, he's gonna reach into his deck of cards and pull out a specific card that has been seen before, and he's gonna reach out his hand and place it onto Chad's shoulder, and he's and Kaven kind of like tell, tells or uh, asks Chad, "Do you think we can get through this?" <laughs> Guess Chad is well. bled out. <laughs> I think that bite nicked his brain. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kaven is. Anyways, asked, I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen healing to Chad. All right. Oh, my hands. Chad, you feel uh, Kaven put his hand on you 
and you look over and see a card and all of a sudden you feel the deep wounds in your head start to heal and you start to be able to see straight oh again. i am i am actually a little bit dumb and stupid uh, it should have been five healing five okay <laughs> Uh, I mistook reading it as level times five, and then it says Paladin level times five. That is I my see. bad. Oh, I actually <laughs> killed him. I killed him. <laughs> uh, Do you think we can make it through this? Get <laughs> 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 dies. Somebody see. post the fucking Watchman gif of Owl Man. Uh, it should be. I posted it. Believe it is. He he's at eight health, so. <laughs> But you do feel a lot better, Carl. Ah! <laughs> uh, and then uh, is a bonus. Mm -hmm. I will heal for three. Mm -hmm. With the same card doing the same thing. Yes. Alright. The Velociraptor! The one I shot! It is booking it out of here! <laughs> Don't like that. Don't think Velociraptors can read. <laughs> Little do you know, this guy has glasses on. Yeah. Braun, it's your turn. It's my range. Rebel, got... grab one out! I got 80 feet of range. <laughs> Can I hit that? <laughs> the Velociraptor? Um, yes. actually, looking at the tree trunks, you can. <laughs> you actually can. I don't like that it's wrong. It's gonna bring reinforcements if I don't kill it. <laughs> okay, go to make the attack. Meanwhile, in front of you. <laughs> in front of you. Now, fine. <laughs> Uh, might want not might want to move a different pattern. I was here. It's one of them opportunity attacks, though. Where? There's nothing. No, in he's technically not leaving its range. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cause he's oh, cause it's a large creature. Cause I... it's a two by two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to get. Is flanking happening in this game? Is that we doing this? Yeah. That's how the rules work. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do I have to? Can I? Do I have to be exactly here? Or maybe gonna be, gonna be you have here? to be directly you across be directly. from someone. So yeah. So this or is diagonal. You yeah. could no, be in either have, one of these two bottom squares. Yes, right the there. Creature. Yeah. Let's do it, Douglas. I'm stabbing them with All advantage, right. yep. which means I get my sneak attack if it hits. True. I also get it anyway because my allies are near. That hits, definitely. Seven damage. It worked. I'm taking my bonus action to disengage. I'm out of here, ho. Okay. Hold on, I moved. Uh, 25, all right, 25 feet. That's not gonna work. I can, I, I can disengage five feet. All right. Uh, uh, you, um... Uh, yeah, I probably would be better just to try and hide and hope to God it doesn't find me two feet from its ankles. <laughs> hide, hide in it, like hide on its leg. Underneath it. I'm gonna do that instead. I'm gonna try and just hide because okay. it's way more efficient. Because if it works, then great. Thirteen. Okay. Um. If yeah. Not, you I'm uh. Gonna die. You See you later. you you slice the back of its uh its like leg. And, uh, you see that, uh, from the wounds, uh, on its face, and on the back of its, uh, leg now, it is bleeding extremely fast. Like, there's some real pressure to the, uh, wounds that you, uh, gave to it. And next up is Zord. Um... Uh, Zort, uh, even though he could reach it from here, like, gauging that Chad doesn't look too healthy, Zort moves up to here. Um, 
Can he use his item interaction to hand Chad the other potion that he has? I don't know if Chad ha I don't know how, like, it was Chad also needs item interaction. I'm not quite sure how we want to rule this. Um, I would say you can do But Zort would like to try to hand him a... Zort would like uh, to hand him... Raw? Yes, you can, because it is your item interaction, not yes. yes. Yeah. This is so where I'll the use peasant minor... rail cannon comes from. The <laughs> on that. Yeah. So I hand him a potion of healing. Thanks, buddy. Stay in the fight, pal. And now Zord is going to do a downward chop with the halberd. <laughs> or not with the halberd, the, the bardish, I'm sorry. Your tomahawk chop is your death blow. Yes, exactly. Fuck you. Too many to count. Don't get in my way. <laughs> oh, stop. Ben, I... ben is a count. Ben is a count. Not well. Uh, if we hit, five damage. You get a meaty uh, slice onto its leg. You see its head kind of like whipping back and forth. Uh, it is definitely. It seems to be starting to uh, panic some. Well, get over here. Me. Yeah. This is this is dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Rel could swim? It's not deep water. If you check D&D commands, it's a, oh, current it's a situation. <laughs> uh, this... Where's this velociraptor? Oh, it's this one! <laughs> Up here! It is running away as fast as it can. <laughs> it's going gif. track its blood later. Chad, a lot has happened, but you are uh, oh. conscious. Uh, I feel like I blacked out for a second. Who's playing the Jurassic Park theme? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is getting taken off of YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't what care. What happened to fine. industrial sounds? Uh, I drink. I drink to get through the working day. Okay. <laughs> How much is that healing potion? Uh, one d four plus four. I think it's it's literally just potion of healing from the uh. Go like ahead you can add and uh just um click on it, Brian, and then he can press the button. And I had I had already deleted it. Oh, okay. Give me one sec, I can find it. It is slash, I believe. Four. Eight. Oh yeah, eight. And is that an action, or is it an item interaction? I don't. Okay. Yeah. You uh, quickly chug that back and you're feeling real good now. I'm Sorry, I was looking for it. Alright. Time to whack him. Whack him. You have. With my hammer. Do you have another. Wait, you have advantage! Uh, that hits. Uh, but oh. go ahead and roll again. Just in case you get a natural turn. Okay. Four. Die. <laughs> Four. Uh, you. You uh, bash its knee. And uh, it's it is it is it is not looking good for it. It's kind of like looking around a bunch. And, uh, it sort of, uh, it's gonna roll a d4 to see who it attacks. It's gonna be in this order, yeah. It's attacking Caven. Caven, <laughs> it was, it was fun playing with you. I'll see you in the afterlife. <laughs> Uh, you see it open its jaw once again. It's an attempt to, uh, 
swallow you whole. Consume. 18 Hit. hits? <laughs> Take 16 okay. points of piercing damage. I'm still in this. Yes. Um. Not dead yet. It's up to you how uh, you get damaged by this. Do you uh, dodge out of the way, or does it get the that your head as well? Uh, that is your discretion. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, it gets your head as well, though you are a a bit faster than um, Chad. So it, it, one of its teeth kind of scrapes, uh, like the side of your head, like starting on the edge of your forehead back to, uh, like behind your ear. There's just a giant gash now. And, uh, it, it is bleeding a lot. What do people have? What is it with the creatures in my forehead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rel, it's your turn. Or head spotted. Head spotted. Alright, I'm not even gonna say what I'm doing. You already Okay. <laughs> 17. Nine. nine. <laughs> it was on nine health. Yes! Ha I killed the dinosaur! How do you kill the Allosaurus with a firebolt, Matt? Realm shoots it right in the eye. <laughs> You see the, the eye. The skull kind of catches from the inside, and the... it's like you know that scene from Revenge of the Sith where Grievous gets shot in the heart, and then the fire jets yeah. out his eyes. It's that, but instead of General Grievous, it is a several ton, eighteen foot tall theropod dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, you see both of its eyes sort of pop, uh, like uh, out. And uh, you see flames coming around them, and it kind of like stumps over and falls uh, to the right, and it exhales one last time, and you see through its uh, nostril uh, just like a uh, solid like uh, a solid stream of uh, like fire as it dies down, and it is. Definitely dead. It's covered in blood, and it's it is. Uh, oh, they killed the dragon. Plus dead. Plus dead. Plus dead. Uh, that one's dead. Plus dead. The vo the velo the velociraptors are actively running away. <laughs> so. Uh... uh. Why you sort tiny? Uh... Really? <laughs> so <Sorry>. Really? <laughs> uh, Kaven. What? It is your turn. If you would like to attempt to chase after them, but that's that's up to you. Kill them, Kaven. Slaughter their families. Leave only one alive. Kaven falls backwards. <laughs> he was just bitten yeah. by a dinosaur. And that is combat. <laughs> oh, I was going to kill him oh. I can take a shot. Okay, okay. Uh, this one is... He's up there. ...the very edge of the map now. <laughs> Braun, go ahead. So he's up there. If I... If I line this up perfectly... Oh, I didn't do that again. Right there. <laughs> Can I make the shot? Uh, draw a line for me. He's over here, isn't he? Yeah, I'm... I actually have the tree trunks mapped out, so let me just... Uh... You... You can make the shot, but he's going to have partial cover. So I'm fucking... I'm using my bonus action to dash. Okay. I get 30 more feet. Okay. Yeah, you can make that without uh, a boost AC. I shoot him. I'm gonna say if you miss, he gets away. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. I need the XP. It hits, but the does the damage kill? 
It does. <laughs> it's it's dead. Can I retrieve my arrow? Uh, you can retrieve one of them. All right, I take one of them back. Okay, and that ends combat. Woohoo! Maybe I'll level up next time. All right. God, I can't A wait. A couple I... of you have gotten pretty serious wounds, and you're all just kind of standing around the uh, corpse of this of this large creature now. A dragon. It's his dragon. No, yep, that's the dragon. Rail oh. has killed the dragon. <sighs> Zord literally said what it was. So now, source. Yeah, that's the kind of dragon, right? Funny name for a dragon. No, I don't. I don't believe it's a dragon. It's a reptile. Bones that we can pick clean. Look, uh, look in chat a minute ago. What? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ron called it. Yeah. <laughs> Zorch rummaging. Okay. Um. Go ahead and make a. Uh... Make a survival check for me. 21. Um, you see most of its uh, innards are pretty standard. doesn't seem to be like anything special or like magic, really. It truly is just like an animal. Um, mm -hmm. You notice in its... Um, it's got me... Uh... What do you say? Uh, yeah, I figured, like, Zort would probably pick through it, see what's going on. It looked pretty normal before. Mm -hmm. Mainly just, like, if it has any, uh, alchemical ingredients that he might be aware of, they could try to, because his healing, his healing potion supplies a little down. Mm -hmm. Figure, have some stuff on hand if he grind up some teeth or something. Yeah, it definitely has Get some, uh, lots of teeth. Um, it would take a while, but I would say it probably has about 20 pounds of teeth in its mouth. Uh, and, um, there's a bunch of fat that you can cut out, uh, like you notice, uh, in its, um, stomach, there's lots of animal bones, as well as a couple of human skulls, as well, that seems to be passing mm. through its... Think it back in the jungle! I'm stuck in yeah. the Ghastly. Zort doesn't like skulls, mm. or human heads of any variety. I did not even mean to do that, but yeah... Just uh, something you notice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess he probably like takes some uh, take some skin, some fat, some teeth. Yeah. Just um, some general stuff he could like work with later. Yeah, there's lots of um, leather that you could get off of this thing. I would say with a, yeah. a survival check of that, you can get at least uh, ten pounds of its teeth, and probably close to. I'd say like seven pounds of like hide as well, if you would like to. Can't get back at the game. Sure. Oh, finally. Can we check and see if this thing's magical? The dinosaur, yeah. It last, I, I'm gonna make an arcana. Okay. You look for runes or anything glowing that might elude to something, but it truly just seems to be an animal. Seems to. Yeah, last time it was magic. <laughs> like you guys are like looking at it, or it's just like diving into its mouth. Just <laughs> one second, you... just construction noises. <clears throat> I'm Zort... floor, but this is crazy. Zort's very good at uh. Adam. At uh, dentistry. Very good. What he wanted to be before he wanted to be an adventurer. Yeah. Um. And um. Haven, as you kind of inspect your wound more, it seems to be, while the surface area of the wound is quite large, it's not very deep, and pretty soon the bleeding does go down. You seem to not be in any sort of danger of uh, bleeding out. But... All right. It's good. And for the bodies of the Velociraptors, they're pretty small, and they don't seem to be, like, magical. Uh, there's probably not really much to, to take off of them. Uh, 
So what would you all like I, to do? I think like reaching out of the out of the dinosaur's like mouth or like out of its guts, having like picked through it, just covered in some viscera. Is what like looks at everyone. Uh, is everyone all right? <laughs> that was uh that was kind of tricky. Those little dinosaurs really do uh, have pretty sharp teeth. I wasn't really expecting it. You uh, look over at Tradzor and you see that while the wounds on his head are mostly starting to heal up, you see that uh, his left horn is gone. Oh no! Did I see it inside the dinosaur? Inside the dinosaur? Uh, or can I look around? You, if... uh, you do find it. It it it, it seems to be. Uh, and it was going down its uh, throat when it died. Hmm. I guess reaching down, like probably, I assume he'd have to put his body into it. Yeah, you like, would have to going crawl. down his throat, <laughs> crawling down it, grabbing the horn. Chad's horn and coming out. Chad's gonna like somberly walk. Uh, Zort's gonna walk somberly over to Chad and like reach out and hand him the horn. And go. I'm uh, I'm real sorry about that, uh, pal. I'm sure someone can fix it okay, for you. Okay, I was planning on trimming them anyway. Tri they grow? Trimming? I've known you for a while. I didn't even notice. With, have they been growing? Uh, they anyway. grow pretty slow, like a fingernail pace. Man. Well, uh, here you go. Here's your horn back in case you want it. Thanks. Make a knife out of it or something. I was thinking a horn. Oh, like this one. And Zort pulls out his horn. That doesn't look like mine. Where'd you get that one? I, this is more of an instrument for, like, blowing. Like, uh, you oh. never know when you need to warn a lot of people. I thought you took one of my old ones. No, I've never noticed you shed them before. Well, Prawn, should we get going? Or, Kevin, do you need a minute? You look a little banged up there, pal. Me just shakes his head and gets up. Oh, I'm sorry about that, kid. I gotta dedicate this slaughter. Hold on. You, f you fared better than I did. And Zort walks over to Kevin and pats him on the shoulder. tender, Like, trying not to, you know, put his thumb in a wound or something. He just looks off to the side. Alright. With that, uh, I'm gonna take, like, a five-minute bathroom break. I'll be back. Okay. Solid plan. You go. Come
There we go. Um, okay, I'll ask that again for the recording. <laughs> um, Do we have to pretend it's the same day? or? <laughs> it's actually been three months since I unpaused the recording. It's been. It's been. One week. One week. Uh, yeah, but can I can I determine how far we've traveled and how far we still have to go? Yeah, go ahead and um, make a survival check for me. Oh, I was gonna use my map. Oh, uh, well, do a survival check with advantage because your map gives you that. Jokes on you. I'm proficient. Yo. <laughs> Oh, How bad well. was my other roll? <laughs> um, who? You definitely assume that you are close. <laughs> is there any? Is there any obvious? Uh, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I was just told to go here. <laughs> You're going up in elevation, which kind of goes with the area that it's in uh, on the map. So you assume you're getting close. Then we Resort notice. Here. Do we want to take a short rest so our more injured parties can maybe catch a breather? What do you think, Gavin? You need a bit of a break? Gavin's just going to look at the map. <laughs> check check the map, Check Ooh. the map, Bron. I got hey, the Zach. map. Uh-huh. Show I'm it. Is this the demo, man? Uh, hold on. Let me find you. No, David. I need Where? to get that immediate XP. Bottom left. Bottom left. My cursor. Oh. That is not the demo man, no. Oh. I need him on this map. I need to level up. Is he <laughs> on this map? He is. He's gonna, he's gonna be real hard to find, though. I will leave it on this map for a while while we travel. I, I, I'm desperate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you had no just, idea. I can see all the cursors going around. Oh no! I'm hunting with my eyes. Yeah, <laughs> Holy shit! It's impossible to see. <laughs> <laughs> I found, a, I found, a, I found something that's not the demo man. <laughs> huh? Well, oh, fun. um. <laughs> he ran away. That? No, no. Is, That's is a random velociraptor. He found a random oh. velociraptor. Found another. That's the one you killed. Yeah. Oh, you you missed that one. Try it. I found another. Why <laughs> try another? Fucking walls. Try another. So you can't see behind trees. They're very clearly not fucking trees, though. They're weird, like, X shapes. Well, I mean, I can't make a... I can't make a circle, so I had to make hexes. <laughs> Zach I mean, cannot make circles. There are definitely hexagonal trees. Mm hmm I mean, I, like... I was placing down walls for, like, half an hour. I manually placed every wall on this map for the trees. <laughs> I'm because still... I thought it would look cool. It does. Look... I don't believe there's one here. I think and he's lying is. to us. Oh, I don't care if he's lying. Well, I'm desperate enough to continue my search. There, one hundred percent is. Would you like a hint that would cut the XP no. in half? I'll take it. You can deem it to me. <laughs> okay. I'll gladly. Only need five XP. You can take twenty XP for bigger hits. There's your hint. I'm so desperate. I keep thinking I see him, and it's just the fact that red and green look very similar to me. So I just keep <laughs> being like, "Oh, you see, it's in like one certain of the color tree shape things." I really hope he's like the size of the map, and he's like the oh, entire map. I see him! I see him with my eyes. He's right there. He's <laughs> yep. <my leaves. laughs> yep. You found him. Add ten XP. Woo! Oh, the part that was black <laughs> for me. Up. I don't feel bad. Hang on, let me see. 
What the fuck? Why can't I go over there? The tree. <laughs> Whoa! I get to level up! <laughs> There's nothing here. Yes, there Wait, where is. Are you? Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's not there on my screen. Uh, hey. We've been doing take average, right? It's right I've been there. doing take average. Yeah, um... Zach, it's not there on my screen. <laughs> are you Whoa! sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Can, can everyone else see it? I can, I can. see him. He's, he's right yeah, there. He's, yeah, he's right there. No, he's not there on my screen. I swear I swear to God. Even if you move here, right here? Matt, here? Look at D&D commands. Even if I'm right there. It's... I put a screenshot. He's right there. Yo, you too? <laughs> oh, um, I'm not actually seeing trees. What? What? Um... Can you share your screen? Um, what, are you, what are you seeing? What? Okay. Um, <laughs> what does this look like? It's not loading. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> are you in hell? <laughs> he's, in, he's in a hellscape. I mean, okay, so when he was, mean, when, he was silent hell. About, when he was saying what? he couldn't see, he was being real. You he genuinely wait, can't see. Wait, you thought this is just what the map looked like? Yes. What? What? No. <laughs> it didn't look like that at you're, all. You're at the. You're at the one I really love. Fucking Skyfall. <laughs> Matt. No wonder he was just like. Why well, it was just in a river? Yeah. Why didn't you say something? <laughs> I thought why it was supposed to look like this. Why? Why would it ever look like that? I don't it's know. There's a... weird magic shit on this island. We're fighting fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> Sue me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Reload I would like the page, to please. <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> I would say it takes a while for Zort to get everything. I feel cheated. You're gonna load this map and be shocked. <laughs> yeah. I would like to enact. <laughs> oh, now there's trees. If that's possible. Oh, that's why I couldn't see through that. That's a fucking rock. Yeah, yeah you were so... You thought it just looked like that. That's so funny. I thought funny. there was weird warp shenanigans. No wonder you couldn't fight the demo man. I feel cheated. <laughs> I feel like you found some fucking Mist Walker demo man. <laughs> Mist Walker. That's amazing. Oh, and that's why you guys were like realms in a river. Yeah, I mean, like, you were up there. This entire you were, area is a river. I was like, can realms swim? Warp shenanigans. <laughs> I mean, I said it was a creek, so it's it's not very deep, but <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, yeah, yeah sure. no, I was just in Our the river. Our are mad hurt right now. Zor's bleeding. Caven's nearly dead. So, are are you guys taking a uh, short rest or no? I would advise it because I I don't know what we don't know what's coming up and I'd rather people not be slaughtered. Do you all I'm good. follow I don't need his one. advice? We don't have to. I mean, Zort's fine. Zort's fine, but Caven's half uh, dead. More than half dead. Caven, uh, I think we all would probably advise him to take a minute. Keep it, please. You gotta take a minute. Just keep just... going. It's only a scratch. Listen, how about we just relax for a second and just, you know, get our bearings. Let's keep going. All right. I guess uh, we move south. on. Front. Okay, here we go. Ron, you lead. I'm, I'm leading. We're traveling. Yippee! Leading. All right. About 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I but couldn't sleep. You find, you find I, another dinosaur. <laughs> there's a, there's two Allosauruses. Um, two clockwork dragons. Clockwork dragon? No. Um, after about half an hour, uh, you start, uh, Prawn, you start to, to notice uh, a couple of pairs of footprints. I and mean, they seem to be actual footprints, like boots. Except one seems to be barefoot. I believe the vine people are coming up. They had sent some level of sentience, so this is promising. Let us continue. I will alert the group. Boots! Boots! 
Hmm. Booze? Can I Zort... Like booze. Which direction are they going? Um, south. Yeah, they're going south, and you see that they sort of came over from the east. Hmm. If you could open the they... map and get a general guess of where we are. So they came from inland. I think we're generally, hmm. like, right here-ish. How big are these boots? Like, are these, like, uh, these big guys? These normal guys? Um, these these small these guys? If you did, by the size of the boot print, you would probably guess they're humanoid. Yeah. That's why I suggested it was the, the vine people that we met a long time ago. Makes sense, I suppose. Uh, you do notice, Zort, that the one that seems to be not wearing any sort of shoes... You notice that there's a strange uh, kind of imprint uh, in between the toes that would suggest maybe webbed feet. Hmm. Zort kind of points out uh, like that imprint. You see that imprint in between the toes there? I think uh might be dealing with a, a triton or some form of mer person. There's a webbing there. Could be a... You never know. This is all... Pretty new. As you continue south, um, are you following the footprints, or are you just kind of keep going south? I'm leading in the direction I think we need to go, but I'm keeping an eye on the footprints. Okay. If they are still in that direction. Uh, yeah, you notice that they're pretty much going the same way that you are. Um, and after about ten more minutes, you start to notice that there are these kind of like large pieces of rock that kind of jet out of the ground. As you gain elevation, it's still a uh, sort of this, this dense jungle, but it seems that um, uh, it's getting a bit more rocky. Um, but you start to notice these don't look very natural. They seem to be sort of carved in. You see uh, actual like marble pillars that are kind of half sticking out of the ground. And soon you see what seems to be like some sort of walled complex. It seems quite small. And as you get close, you see that there's kind of this rising, gr like, greenish kind of, like, smoke that seems to be in, like, the shape of a cylinder kind of going all the way up to the low, dark clouds. And it's coming from inside of this complex. I will continue you just, those slowly. <laughs> Describes the most ominous thing ever. Mm, I'll be careful. <laughs> gonna... I, would, I will simply not be killed by Mana Marco. Um, and pretty soon you come out behind some trees. And uh, you see that you're actually pretty close to this compound uh, activate and if you had to guess this is probably the disturbance that is marked on the map that the old man talked about oh uh, no. no disturbance one disturbance one loading disturbance one loading disturbance 98% Okay, just in case you guys were worried, I am not in the void. Good. You can actually see things. Also, yes, I, I can see. Oh, yeah, I, I see. see I, I see trees of green. I, more trees. I did not make the funny tree walls because I did not want to spend an, another half an hour. I don't blame you. So clearly, mm, these are not trees. They're bushes. Appears to be big stone piano. Those that is a house. pillars, uh, Chad, are probably about ten feet tall, but they're still kind of under the canopy. Uh, not pianos. Can I see what's like? Is it what kind of building is this? It's very strange. There aren't any windows. It's just kind of like a walled-off section of forest. It looks like you can't really see over it. Can Zort roll it like uh, try to sneak? It is not, no. You also see a ladder, kind of, where you, um... 
kind of approach from and and you see that uh the familiar kind of same set of footprints are kind of all around this uh ladder and this building can zort sneak and try to sneak up to that tree trunk sure make a stealth check for me <laughs> you definitely step on some twigs and whatnot, but you f you you f you feel like you're a little hidden. Well, hold on. These can I investigate these and see if there's anything to be gained? Sure. What is it? You know, there doesn't seem to be any carvings in it. Um, the, the well. The only carvings are sort of, like, decorative, and there aren't any, like, runes or text on them. Um, they seem to be kind of falling apart. There's some grind, some vines uh, kind of growing on them. No, no runes, no nothing? Not, no. Then I will. This is a ladder, right? It is. Can I, like barely peek my head above to get some eyes. Make a stealth check, yeah. Gladly. Alright. As you climb up the uh, ladder, um, it's very creaky. You can tell that it was probably made by just, like, local sources. It doesn't seem to be uh, very well made. And it's very creaky. And as you start to uh, go up the ladder, you, um... You hear a voice go, Did you hear that? Is that the ladder? Watch in the wind. Can I drop down and then, like, move um, to a better position? Before you do that, you do get high enough to peek your head over. If I, if I put you, uh... I'm, 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 I'm gonna put you, like, right here, just so you can okay, see. Okay, you do that? Yeah, you can see into here like this. Hey, I've Fighting gods of old. <laughs> and then you go back down. Can I give like hand signals to let everybody know to hide? You can attempt to. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. It'd be like hide, hide. Um, make a performance check. Did I roll sleight of hand? Uh, well, you're not really trying to hide anything. I'm just trying to like my hands. They're trying to do their funny shapes. Yeah. I would say that's more of a per yeah, pre that's performance. Hey, look at that. Um, you're all sort of watching Prawn, and you see him uh, just kind of like put his uh, finger over his mouth to, you know, say be quiet. And Prawn, you start hearing uh, like footsteps start to come towards you. And you hear that... Is Prawn on the ladder or off the ladder? I just jumped down. Like, I'm at the bottom, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kind of jump ahead and be like, Hello? Anybody in there? Oh. Uh, state your business. Uh, who are you? I... Well, I got a couple of names, but first, who are you? I've got uh, something of importance for somebody here. A letter carrier of sorts. A letter a courier, carrier? If a courier, if you would. I I come with a gift for someone on this land. Are you from... the... Wait. Are you from the military? We've been waiting here for three weeks. Uh, my, uh... <clears throat> and, uh, you hear him start to get closer to the uh, ladder. And you hear another set of footsteps as well. I, I, could, I could hear clicky clicks and then your mouse moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is your message? I, the master of this land. I need to meet him. But first, you're, are you military? You said you've been waiting. Uh, we are... We took a contract. We're uh, adventurers, I guess you would say. 
We've been stranded at the first dis d disturbance for a couple weeks now. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, but this is it. This is apparently that source of disturbance that I've heard so much about. Yes. May we... I come? Yes. May I come in? Of course. Are you alone? Yes. It is just me. It's not right wise on. to come through this jungle alone. There's all sorts of beasts and monsters. We've encountered our fair share. Yes, but... Well, my... Something's great's happened. My soul. It's ignited. It doesn't make sense to you, but... I have a lot of protection on my side. Uh, are you going up the ladder? I'm going up the ladder. Okay. Mm -hmm. And hopefully people can, like, get closer. Yeah, you see that they're kind of just, like, standing there now. Well, first, how, how long have you, you know, you've been here three weeks, you said. What's happening? What's, what's, yeah. you know, fill me in. Well, we made our way to the disturbance, like the map said, but it's just a big hole, as you see. Oops. And we've tried to climb down, but that smoke, it's its deadly. And that hole, well, I mean, uh, Iris, you know, dropped a torch down, but it's, uh, it's a real deep hole. I don't, I don't think we even have enough rope to get down there. Do you have any sort of identification papers? Oh, uh, I have a copy of the contract. May I see? Sure. Kind of walks up. He uh, ruffles around in a side pouch, and uh, he hands you what seems to be a uh, ripped-off sort of piece of uh, paper from what seems to be some sort of like message board. And he also shows you a map. Uh, and I determine it, if this is fake at all. Um, you see that it has the same seal and logo as as uh, your map. So it's definitely real. My name is uh, Bruce, by the way. I'm the leader of this band. Well. Hmm. And so you say it's down there. Oh, yeah. Uh, we dropped a torch and timed it, but I wasn't quite sure. I have an idea. You know the... Uh, you know the giant stone... Pillars on the outsides, the strange ones in that order. Yes, yeah. Perhaps if they were interacted with, destroyed, maybe they're maybe they're like a focus. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, we had uh, Luth take a look at them. There weren't any runes or anything. I look too, but this is a druid. It could be that maybe it's in a language we can't see, a forest language. You know what I mean? Um, the man to his right kind of steps up and goes, And are you here on official business? You say you're a messenger, but it seems like you're armed to the teeth. As you said, the land is dangerous. Even though I have my own heart, you know, I need to not die. And they sent you to give us a message. Not you. They didn't tell me about you. I didn't, there was no word of you. To them, you didn't even exist. And they could have just I not. I guess they thought you dead. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. We have been here for a while now. But you may go free. As soon as this thing's, you know, dealt with... You can go down to the beaches about northeast of here. There's a small camp we made up. You can hang out there. We'll be come back on that side and the boats will come. Oh no. We're here to finish the job. I mean, we're on a contract. Uh, getting paid by the Empire. It's going to be a good reward if we can actually do this. That's why we all risk our life to come out here. Unfortunately, the Empire has sent me. I'm, I'm going to pull out the, the scroll I have. But I'm not going to like... Tell him what it is. I'm going to be like, look at this scroll. The Empire sent me with a message for him. He's not to be killed anymore. They changed the bounty on you. 
Make a deception check for me. Or persuasion. I'll take deception. Okay. <laughs> huh. Well, can I at least see it? I mean... It's... Not really. I, I mean, it? I haven't even opened. See, the seal on it hasn't been. The seal on this scroll hasn't been broken. I don't even know what it is. Hmm. I just know that it's meant for his eyes only. Huh. Well, I'm. All I know, it could be a portable bomb. He'll open it up and it'll explode. You know how those wizards are. So there's no reason to take down the whatever this thing is anymore. No, you see. The boats, they can't come here unless these are down. He did mention some kind of curse on the beach. Uh, yes, the Empire, they can't they can't set foot. You can't leave. And any small vessel will get torn asunder by the waves. Hmm. Hold on. How many of you are in here? Oh, uh, just the R. It's just us five. How many of there are... Hmm, let me think. We got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There... I... Hmm. I have an idea. Give me a couple seconds. Like, maybe a minute and a half. I'll be right back. Let me try something. Keep an eye on the well. You hear the man to his uh, right go... I don't know if we should trust him. Look at him. As you, like, climb up the ladder. Is he even a man? Up. Oh, sorry. Look no. at him! I'm gonna run over to... Uh... Zort. He doesn't Zort. run into the woods. I'll be right back! <laughs> <laughs> Just I'm talking to a tree. You know, you see this stone pillar down here? Uh, which one? This one all down here I'm pinging? Yeah. Could you go, like... Stand on it, interact on it, lay on it, uh, just be near it, and, like on it, touch it with your hands. Oh, why? I have an idea. There's a big old mystical pit in there, and I think there's enough people here exactly that if we all interact with these pillars, it might turn off the smoke and we could get down there. Also, there's like five people in there. They're Empire survivors, they say. Probably should have told you that mm. first. I. This is a lot. It uh, is, but just go touch I mean, the stone. I can... I can try my- Just- just t interact, just fiddle with it. That's all I could ask you to do. Alright. Alright, um, uh, yeah, good luck, I guess. hitting on the pillar like a monkey. Okay, I would take it more than <laughs> okay. one. And then, once the swords start going, I'm gonna climb back in and be like, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm hurry. On his way by to this pillar, he's gonna, uh, like, get in close to Relb and Kaven. Hey, we need to all touch- or be near the big stone pillars out here. And so it's going to go over to this one and like, like put his hand on it and kind of crouch next to it. Okay. And he's going to think, man, I should have put my bear trap underneath the ladder. <laughs> okay. Is there... I'm, I'm inside here now. Not two people are near, but is there any change in the pit? Uh, it seems to be the same kind of green smoke that's just kind of bellowing out. Did I attempt an Arcana check? Sure. Um, you kind of get closer and you kind of um, smell the... Um, it's like a smell you've um, sensed before. It's like this kind of like magical poison, kind of like cit citric acid kind of smell. Um, it seems to be just kind of this, like, ever-rising uh, smoke that goes up into the clouds. I will... I will... I will attempt to gather companions. A wizard gave me a, a thing I could break to summon my friends if I ever needed help, so I'm gonna go call them out, and maybe all of us together, our might combined, can figure it out. Oh, that's fancy. Did... Did, yeah. uh... Did that, uh... Uh... Our... Arthur and 
our our friend Kuth over there got visited by this uh this like old man with a long beard at, at night. Uh, Is that what happened I to you too? Yes. Although he gave me this this strange scroll and then uh, a black rock that I could break and it would, or I don't know, I don't know. He just told me I could use it and it would it would teleport my friends in who are on standby. So hmm. I'm gonna go call them and then bring them in here. Okay. Just gonna throw a random rock down here and be like, "Oi, get over here!" <laughs> Make a deception check. Crackle, crackle. Get over here. Alia! Make a deception check for me. For the rock? Yeah. Just for everything. <laughs> I mean, some of that's true. Okay. You all hear Prawn, uh, like, yell for all of you to come back over. Hello, y'all. Hello, Kevin. I have a very important gift that I've put in D&D &D commands. I didn't see. <laughs> I just put it there. I'm, I'm sorry, I just found it. There's never been such a before. <laughs> That's funny. Did you make that now? No, I just found it. I think it's from Dino Fight Club. It, it looks like it, right? Is Matt here? I think it's from Dino Fight uh, Club. He'd know. Ooh. Maybe that looks... it's been a very, very long time since I've watched that show though. We should take a day and just watch like a bunch of uh of the old dinos oh. like dinosaur uh uh like Documentaries? Yeah, like, there's so many on mm -hmm. Netflix that are from, like, the early 2000s. I love them. We should watch the History Channel one that's about dragons. But it <laughs> frames it like they're dinosaurs. No, no, not History Channel. Animal Planet. Animal Planet. Yeah. It was Animal Planet. Honestly, I I, I'd prefer we watch the, the, the one about mermaids that included jump scares. Oh, oh the body found. Yeah, I've seen that one. That's a classic. Found. Yeah, it's like a monkey with a with a haddock tail. Are you all uh, walking? Anyway, over that's the pit. <laughs> They're part computer generation. It's fascinating. Uh, Zort is uh touching the pillar. I guess if he sees Prawn coming down the ladder, he's gonna he'll sneak up again. Like, oh, yeah. uh, I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak. Like I don't know sneak. if Prawn's being coaxed. Oh, yeah, I don't know if Prawn's being coaxed. Oh, okay. Make a stealth check for me. Oh! You're Man, I very know where, I don't even know where he is. <laughs> yeah. No one can see Zort. I see Kaven and Rel, but I'm just gonna take them. <laughs> Chad has That's... been lost to the forest, sadly. Yeah, I don't even know where Chad is anymore. <laughs> Chad... I'm take I, think, I think he found the lab. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, hold on. I, I guess I'll just take Kaven, because Relb's gone. Prone is calling you over again. Hello, y'all. Get in here. What am I doing? We're going in here to meet people and see if we could brainstorm. I was banging on the monolith. It didn't work, <laughs> but I appreciate the effort. Okay. Really thought that was clever because there was just enough people for it. But are you all um going in? I assume. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I want Kate yeah. For sure. I'm dragging people I in. I would prefer Rel because I figured that whatever gas is coming up might be explosive. He might just make a nuke. I'm dragging he would Conan. Know. Conan the yeah. Barbarian? Uh, <laughs> my name is Bruce. Uh, nice I'm to meet Conan. you all. Uh, my name is Zort. Lon. Zort steps forward, puts his hand out, and points to the triton and goes, I knew it! What? The, I said the, before! The Trident kind of looks at you and just goes, You knew what exactly? I'm confused just as you're, well. You're far too obvious with your track, sir. While I was trekking through these jungles, I could pick your prints up from about a mile away. 
Well, you know, it's pretty... Gotta cover them web feet. It's pretty hard to find shoes that fit. Zort looks down at his own feet. Oh, I know it. I see you have the same problem. Zort goes in for the... for the handshake from the Terminator. <laughs> Damn <Dead> it! <laughs> You son, of, you a son of a bitch. Yeah, that's from Predator. Does, do, does he engage me in this handshake? He does. And he says, uh, my name is, uh, Phallus. Cleveland Brown? Phallus, nice to meet good to meet you. I'm Zort. The Tort. Uh, I, I think that's discriminatory. That's what you are! I didn't and, uh, give you permission to say that word. Bruce uh, kind of turns around and says, uh, "Over there, that's uh, that's our resident mage, Iris. Uh, over to to uh, her right. Uh, if I could find the button, uh, that's, that's my gump. that's my good th uh, friend, Keth." And, uh, over there is, uh, over there is, uh, Luth. We, uh, we're a group of, uh, ad adventurers. We, uh, call ourselves, uh, the bottom line. It's kind of a joke, but, you know, gets people's Why, Chad, have you attention. joined with the pit? Oh, Chad dies. And, uh, you all are... A group, unnamed. Bold. Yeah, you know us if you know us. That's a good point, I guess. I am... We all have names. That's a rail right there. Look at the small one. You hear about the? <laughs> you hear about the? Fe I mean, you know, they might know about the Fido Goblin incident. Then they'd heard that they'd, they'd have heard of us. Rail, go smell that gas, but don't breathe too deep. Rel goes over and he takes oh, it. Oh, my. I'm going to go I grab don't... the back of his shoulders so he doesn't pass out and fall into the pit. What is happening uh, there? What did I miss? Rel. <laughs> Why is there two chats? Did that save for like a minute, man. <laughs> yang, yang. I didn't notice. <laughs> Rel, make a constitution saving throw for me. I've, I've got his, I've got, I'm literally grabbing Rel so he doesn't fall into the pit if he passes out. Okay. Saving throw, oh, normal, yeah. eight. eight. Uh, you, you uh, kind of just get hit with the sense of uh, like this horrible sulfuric kind of smell, and uh, yeah. you just feel horrible as you take four points of damage. Smell is like sulfur. Real, but yeah. sulfur explosive. Oh. <gasps> Relb knows what to do! Relb reaches into his backpack and pulls out the bomb. <laughs> Not yet, Relb. Gotta evacuate first. This thing's gonna blow up like a nuke. What's a nuke? It's like a ninth level fireball. What's a ninth What's a level ninth? fireball? It's, uh, it's a wizard who's really angry. I don't think I've ever like met a wizard. wizard. Iris kind of looks over to you, Relb, and just goes, You certainly are an interesting one. Boom! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Relb is... Just, can I check this out real quick? Does Relb turn into Rico at this moment when he sees something blow <laughs> up? Yes! Also, um, my, uh, Relb, was it we or I... Yes. Already tried. Um, it's not flammable, sadly. Damn it. Great Wait minds think alike. Have you tried just straight breaking the ground we're standing on? Uh, I don't think we have. Whoa. Relb, what's your explosives rated for? Um. You are a miner. Do you know what a shape <laughs> charge is? Give Relb a few minutes. Relb needs to to do some numbers. You know, do you know what a shape charge is, Relb? What's this book say? Relb Rel walks over and he tries to find like a flat place to to like. Well, here's a flat place. It's a table. 
he he's like doing some some work. He's he's like pulled his bomb out and he's like measuring it and he's trying to figure out how much powder he's got in it. And yada yada yada. See if it's metal. <laughs> Uh, Iris is gonna walk up and go. Oh, sorry. That's uh, that's my spell book. I was working on, and she kind of curls it and puts it off to the side. Uh, do you want to read what the page was on, though, Chad? Yeah. Um, it's mostly just runes, but if you want to make an Arcana check? You might be able to make something out of it. Arcana. Like okay. that magic stuff? Yeah. I'm not... I'm not too good with that magic stuff. <laughs> um, it's definitely a spell. Mm. But then she closes the book and puts it off to one side, so Rob has this room. This man's got a... This lady has got a, a lightning staff. Can, uh, Zort try something with this weird gas? Yes. Uh, sure. Wait, is this, uh, is there without... a giant hole in the roof? A what? Is there a hole in the roof for this gas to escape? There is no roof. It is literally just walls. Okay. I interpreted this weirdly then. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, wait a minute, is there no room for this gas to go? Are we going to suffocate? <laughs> no. Are it, crazy? It, it is going straight up. Okay. Uh, can Zort try to, like, do some alchemical tests on this thing? Like, uh, maybe some tip strips or something? <laughs> That's some stuff that he has. Try to determine sure. a property of this. Make a, uh... You no. Know, let's see. Uh, make a check with your, uh... I believe you can do a check with the, uh... Yeah. Supplies. It says investigation. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you inspect an area for clues, proficiency with alchemist supplies grants additional insight. I don't think I have proficiency, but I could you roll do, on actually, it. You do, actually, yeah. Do I now? Yeah, oh, it's uh, it's the other one that you don't. For some reason. Uh. Or no, sorry, it's when you are making uh potions, you don't have prof. Oh, okay. Potency. If you need to make something, I can give it a crack. You okay. might find uh, should I just, surprises. Should I hit the use alchemist supplies button? Yeah, sure. To see uh. A six. Ooh. Um. You are definitely sure that it is a magical poison. Um, and uh, from your observations, it seems to not dissipate like normal smoke. Well, uh, we know it's definitely magical. I know that's probably not much of a surprise. Uh, seems to be some, some form of poison to me, and there's very little to no dissipation. This isn't something I've seen before. Hmm. I'm gonna channel so turns my, with... I'm gonna channel my spiritual energy into it. Okay. Oh man, scary poison. Time to ask God what it is. <laughs> uh it definitely feels evil. It's evil if that helps. <laughs> yeah, it's evil. That's for sure. Uh Bruce kinda walks up to it and goes. Yeah, we've been, um, trying for well, as long as we've been here, really. Uh, nothing's worked. There's gotta be something with these things out here. Iris already checked. There's nothing magical about them. Probably just used to be a building here or something. And why would they... They're not evenly spread as the thing. They're just kind of placed. They're not... They gotta be... They gotta mean something. I gotta go fiddle with them. Okay. You want help fiddling? You can come fiddle. Yeah, I'll help you go fiddle. So they got it, because these aren't even. It it does it does a U shape. They're not spread out normally. I'm just going to delete this wall so you guys can go back and forth. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it, does a, it does a U shape. It's not... It doesn't make sense. Yeah, that one back there. Uh, got, oh, no, it's a, it's a circle. There's one around. Yeah, like, they, they loop around, but they don't make a, like, a, you know. They're not. I mean. 
And why is there bonus foundation on only the corners? Hmm. Is this an altar? Interesting. Someone shaped kind of. Uh, that one is uh, raised like all the others. It's about 10 feet high. Hmm. hmm. That one is shaped differently than the others. Uh, if you count them, there's, well, we, we got, uh, like, four people inside, and then combining our group, there's enough for all of us to, like, get on this. If you think it'll do something. I tried that earlier, and it didn't seem to have an effect. I gotta, can I move them? Are they solid? Can I, t uh... can I push they're... So it's going to get out of the way so it doesn't fall on him if he tips <laughs> the thing over. Uh, you push on it some, and it seems to be definitely very deep in the ground. because It's not really moving at all. And the top half move, like like a swivel. Maybe i got to line them up. Uh, you can try to climb it if you want. Yeah, I'm going to climb it. Either acrobatics or athletics. Definitely out of acrobatics. Okay. Um, I mean, I'd say it takes you... A minute, but you can get to the top. Um, it seems it does. It seems to not move at all, but you can see a good view of uh, everything. Um, Do I notice anything? You see that it definitely seems to be in somewhat of a circle, but uh, that's about it. They have to mean something, but what? Hmm. Is this one meant to be shaped differently? Or is that just like know. a texture thing? Because if it's actually, because if it's if it's just a texture thing, that I it don't is know what what you, what you see. So then it has to be on purpose, because it's the only one that is looking different. So something has to be going on here. Uh, I wonder if you have to touch them in a certain order, Prawn. Like, this one's pointing downward, so maybe maybe you have to go in the direction that they face and, like, touch them in the... face a direction. This is the only one Well, this one like points... Arrow. No, because the other ones, they have, like, a face to them, if you look at them. Some of them are, are, are faced around one... Each other direct. If, you, if we follow it like that, then it's, like... It's that one down to that one over... Hmm... And then if you bend the rules a little bit, <laughs> you really bend the rules here. They don't really make even lines, but you could you could kind of make it like that. I don't really know. I'm gonna climb I'm down. Very well versed in magic or fiddling. I can. I'm okay with magic. I just don't. I just don't understand. There's gotta be... Maybe if I take a step back, it's, uh, you know. You hear from... I'm gonna take... Behind you. This one caught my interest, too. Oh, we gods! Why, well, what are you, some... Are you uh, a magic person? Um, I've been... Ma'am? I've been studying, um... This kind of magical storm ever since it appeared, and if I had to guess, it's probably f fueled by whatever this is. The uh, smoke, I mean. Yes. Yeah. It's a strange sort of... Strange sort of magical gas. It's quite, uh, quite interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Did you notice any inscription on it anywhere, Prawn, when you were muckling with it? No, it just looks normal. I could maybe, hmm. I could try our, maybe seeing if there's any latent secret magic on it, but I'm not magical, I can only do so much. I mean, latent secret magic seems like kind of a stretch. We'll find out. We will! Latent secret D20. Are you just gonna try and stab it? Or me? That was a misim. That was a misim. That was a misim, bud. <laughs> I rolled oh, that. 
You calm fuck down. You uh, you kind of start to uh, climb up, up and down again, just looking for just anything at all. And um, on top of it, kind of like at where it's pointing, you do see a like single rune that is kind of on the slanted part of it. Uh, let me draw, like right, like right here, like that part. Seems to be like a, a a single rune. Can I read it? Uh, no. What 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 languages do you know? I I can't say them out loud. Uh oh so. yeah, I'm looking. Uh, you cannot read it. No. Can I make a like a rubbing? I have the supplies. You can. I have yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a rubbing then, and then hand it, and then like drop it down, or pass it to Zort, who can pass it to uh, Luth. Oh. Zort catches it, and uh, Zort is gonna look at it as he passes it. Does Zort recognize the symbol? Um, you do not know. Hmm. Doesn't look like any elvish I've ever seen. Maybe, maybe they what, all what about, maybe they form a word if we go to all what, of them. What about you, ma'am? Do you know what hmm. this is? Like dwarvish, draconic, something I don't know. Maybe another one that starts with D. He's nuts. I'm gonna cl go to climb this one in like in like a frenzy because I'm like I made a lead. Oh, I guess we should follow him, ma'am. While you're looking at that, he's, he's gonna make an arcana check. Okay. So it's gonna stare over his shoulder. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Um. Oh, well, this is interesting. It's, uh. Not a language from our world, I don't believe. This is. This is the text oh, that they what? use in the Feywild. It is druid magic! I was right! I guess it makes sense. Uh, we are here for a druid, after all. Hmm. Won't speak druidic? I don't it's... think any of you can. Hmm. Do any of you it have It simply access? means storm. Hmm. It is the rune for the very concept of, of storm. That carving. Can I... Uh, what do I have on me? Can I chip any of this? Or is it just like, can I chip uh, it? It's marble. Um, you could maybe so can maybe get some of it. It is, is there... sort of crumbling ar around the corners, so. Okay. Uh, is there any word on this one? Um, you look around and you don't see one, no. Then I'm going to maybe, I'm going to come up here and, and uh, get Phil informed on what it says, because I wasn't there. Yes. Uh, it says storm. Is there a word we could change it to? It's marble. Maybe we could carve the le the, the meaning into something else. Hmm. Maybe add something onto it? Or change the existing, like from storm to like wind or something. I don't know how druid works. Modify the room. Maybe. Um, At the very least, breaking it might work. Hmm. Let me see. And uh, she's going to attempt to climb up there. I give her a, a boost so she doesn't fall. Yeah, sure. Uh, she makes it, yeah. She gets up top. Oh. Hidden by dust. This is pretty... Hmm. And, uh, you see that the, uh, spear that she has... Uh... You see this entire time, the edge of it has been kind of, like, blue, and there's this, uh... This blue lightning that kind of harmlessly I arcs. that it was lightning. Yeah. And, um, she could, she sort of awkwardly holds it and tries to carve, uh, something next to the room. And... 
And as she does so, uh, you see a bit of her, of the lightning on her spear kind of arc into the room. And uh, you see it kind of shine now. She pretty much added uh, just kind of like uh, a couple of lines coming off of that rune and like a accent mark on top. And um, you see now that the smoke that is rising, you see that there's this kind of this uh, oddly familiar green lightning that kind of starts to arc up it. And, uh, you immediately hear lightning strike. And, uh, it seems like, uh, this kind of light storm, this light rain that has been going on all day, has sort of transformed into a bit of a heavier downpour and a thunderstorm in a matter of, uh, seconds. And she goes, oh, um, that's... That's interesting. A little rusty? This pillar is definitely important. It seems to be controlling the storm, at least right here. And, uh... I, can I maybe take a peek at the, at the scroll that I have on me? Uh, sure. Just to see if there's any symbols I recognize having just made the rubbing. Okay. Um... Go ahead... It doesn't really budge, but you can make a strength check if you want to try to open it. Oh, it's sealed? It is. Ah, uh, then I can't, I'm not, I can't risk ripping this. Okay. Can I take a knife and maybe, no, no, no. If it breaks, then, uh, then everything's fucked. What uh, are you, uh, doing over there? Me or them? Both of you, uh, uh this is really heady stuff for me, I'm not really... It's yeah, one of the man. magical. I'm not sure I mean, if I should really mess with this anymore. I mean, this could cause real damage. I think if I do anything wrong, and really, um, my druidic is quite rusty. Uh, well, does does you have a wizard? Do they have any sort of language to help you detect language, speak language, write language? Um, I don't believe that's her specialty. I can go ask though. But she starts to well, climb down. Not any language I can speak. It's it's druid sword. It's magic. Oh. Uh. Meanwhile. Sometimes I uh. Uh. In the fortress of evil. Meanwhile, in the fortress of evil. Um, Caven, you notice that this uh, this sort of tall elvish man in. Kind of this full, very expensive-looking armor is kind of like, uh, like staring at you as he's kind of casually talking to Bruce, and uh, he kind of starts to walk over, and he goes, uh, "You seem quite hurt there. Um, are you all right?" I've seen better days. That's quite a gash on your head. What did that? I'm still not so sure myself. Yes, we ran into some creatures as well when we first arrived here. There's all sorts of manner of strange beast on this island. I am the quite... The thing was almost three times my size and probably two of yours. Yes, the... There are lots of predators in this jungle, that's for sure. Say, do you mind if I take a look at the wound? I'd hate for it to get infected. It's fine. I've had worse. All right. I know some of the creatures can be uh, poisonous. I, I'm glad I have this armor. Uh, a snake tried to bite me earlier. But as long as you're okay, he kind of walks over back to Bruce. And, uh, Relb, what are you trying to do? Relb has been looking at, like, the weird, like, orb thing and at his bomb. He's trying to figure out how many more bombs he would need to make to break it. Uh, 
the uh, like this green thing. The the like smoke because that is a big hole with smoke oh. out of it. Hmm. I believe someone mentioned that. Uh, maybe there's something like under this like stone that you're standing on. I don't right, right. He said okay, that, he's but... trying to figure out how much explosive he's gonna need to collapse the floor. Okay. So far, the only number he has is more. Right. Would you like to put to try to put together some of the things that you've made to uh, see if you can breach? He, the floor? I know for a fact I do not have enough. Oh, okay. There's a, there's no way in hell Realms one bomb is gonna be enough. You mm -hmm. need, need more material. Yeah, and I believe that's more of like a in 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 incendiary thing that you made, right? So yeah, it's very much anti personnel. Mm. Okay. I do on the plus side. Uh. No, I do not. They those are back on the boat. Fuck. He had the five pound bags of charcoal and uh, saltpeter. Hmm. Yeah. Sitting back on the boat, he didn't bring them. Son of a bitch. Uh, Zor and Prawn, uh, Luth walks back up mm -hmm. to you and she says, Oh, well, I Iris doesn't really have anything for that and she doesn't know uh, that, that language either, but I could try mm -hmm. to tamper with it again, but I'd it's imagine really there's some kind of here. risk. That's oh, our only choice here, really. Mm -hmm. Should we look at uh, some of the other pillars and try I, to... I looked, I looked at one, there was nothing on it. Well, are there any other corners? And she's kind of like up there, like looking around. None that looked like Ooh. that one. Yes, I this mean, one there's... definitely is special. Yep, they're still mm -hmm. the same thing. Alright, um, well, I don't know. Hopefully the language structure is the same, but I'm just going to try to write the rune for stop afterwards. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna back away about ten feet. Just not to intimidate you. I, I know you'll be fine, but uh, just so you know. Stand directly in front. And, uh... As she does so, you see a lightning strike and it seems to go, like, down the hole. Uh, everyone in the actual building sees lightning kind of, like, like fly past them and go down the hole. And there's kind of this bright flash that, e that emerges from it. And um, you see that there's still s smoke coming out, but it seems to be much uh, smaller. That's probably... Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it's probably more, uh, about, like, that size now. It's kind of only coming up from the, the mm. center. Well, that definitely helped, I guess. Let's go take a look so we can get a floor. I guess we better go inside. Oh, wow, we could totally climb down this now. Hmm. Um, you see Kef go to, hmm. to the ledge, and he kind of lights a torch and kind of, like, drops it. And you all see it just sort of go down and down. And then you see it go out. Oh! It might be like mid-fall? And, uh, might... and you hear a a uh, echoing kind of uh, like impact noise after a while. I'm gonna shoot an arrow. See how see how long it takes to fall. Okay. Not like a long arrow, just like a you know. Just kind of like a, a slow shot, so we can yeah. count it. Okay. Um, you hear the reverberation probably about eight seconds after you shoot it. Pretty deep. That is quite deep, mm. I'd say. No one has a thousand feet of rope on them, do they? No. Mm. Rob, do you want to just uh, chuck your bomb down? Oh, well, no, they tried igniting it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and I notice anything along the rim. 
Like, is there any secret alcoves or something? Uh, the rim of the like building or the oh, hole? Maybe, they, maybe that. Then maybe we can see a little bit more down. There's like a little. You can little see spot. better. Um. You look down and you see that there definitely work sort of like these built-in like spiral stairs at one point, but now pretty much all that's left is like a probably like a five-inch stub where each one is. Say, oh, but it is climbable. Yes, it's just a little sketchy looking. Can I, uh, do I got anything heavy on me? Maybe I could. Uh... I'll just shoot an arrow, another arrow at like one, at like the top one, so that if it falls, it's not gonna like destroy everything. Okay, so the one that's like closest. Yeah, that okay. one, well, not a, maybe second to closest. So I have okay. a footing in case this doesn't, you know. Since there's no like pressure or anything, I'll I'll say that. Yeah, you, just uh, if the, if, the, if the force of an arrow will crack it, make it shake, then it's not gonna hold weight. Otherwise, it might. You see hold, like, the arrow bounce off. Oh wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Um. And, uh, yeah, you see the arrow bounce off, and you see bits of it kind of fall off and crumble, but it's still standing still where it was. Uh, can we tie rope around Relb and then have him, like, walk on the, the first one? Not too deep. And if it crumbles, then we have rope to pull him out. He's the lightest one of us all. Um... That's uh, about my only idea. Hmm. Eh. Hmm. I'm not uh, sure what the move is here. We could keep fiddling with the thing outside. But that, that could make it worse. <sighs> I don't know. Well, I, we still have to go down there. Hmm. Is, uh... One of you fine folks have some sort of a magical thing that would help us here. Ability to, to fly or fall very slowly? Uh, How long have you been, people been here? Well, we Yeah, I mean, we figured we, this out in like 10 minutes, though. Well, we got here about three weeks ago. Uh, took us a couple of days to get here. Then, uh... Uh-huh. Were you attacked by a big dinosaur? A dinosaur? No, we, uh... There were some zombies, but... Why couldn't we have gotten the zombies? And so it looks at Chad frustrated. You got attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah, like a big lizard? You ever heard of an allosaurus? Anyway. Maybe the dinosaur was meant for them. And undead was meant for us. That's just kind of frustrating, honestly. Maybe the fates got a little confused. Yeah, it happens. Uh, Iris sort of walks up and goes, Hmm. I believe I could help the small one over there, maybe. Um, I could make him a bit lighter, perhaps. Hmm. Though, I don't know if we have enough rope. Oh, wait. Uh, Chad, remember what we did with the arrow that one time? But what? The, the banana man, the mango man. Someone made an arrow really bright when you shot it. Oh. Well, why don't... I'm not gonna waste an arrow. I'll use one of my arrows. I'll go over and grab this chair and uh... cast light on it and then toss it. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. There's a glowing chair that gets tossed down the hole. <laughs> Fucking Herman Miller. <laughs> Lifetime replacement. Uh, the, uh, the Trident Man, as you're ch uh, chucking the chair, goes, What? I made that chair! And it just goes tumbling down the hole. Um, um you see. Uh, want me to toss you down there? Uh, Chad, be nice. You see that the spiral, um, uh, kind of like stairs that are kind of like stumps, uh, they do go all the way down to the bottom. You see that the bottom is, uh, is kind of this like, uh, 
this large cut stone. Um, so it definitely seems to be some sort of room down there. Um, you can't really see where the smoke is coming from, but uh, you can assume it's probably about... Now that you can actually visualize it, now that there's some light, it's probably about maybe six or seven hundred feet down. It's a very deep pit. Yeah, we're not getting down there. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. We decrease the smoke. Um. Hmm. It doesn't solve the problem of not being able to go down. If any of us go down there, we will die. Because we can't get it out. It seems like... I could, I mean, I, oh. we could use, like, ice picks and climb out very slowly, but... Getting That's down... Is... Really sure, Brett. The walls seem a little, uh, crumbly. Not exactly very sturdy for climbing, I don't think. But we go back to the blowing things up idea. Well, do you want to toss a bomb in there? No. What would a bomb do? I mean, not smoke. Not, not enough. Fuel. Yeah, but what? Uh, what's making it's the question. Oh, that's a good point. Um, hmm. what if uh, what if there's like a goblin down there casting magic smoke of death over and over? Maybe. And Zoit Zoit does like he ro he he moves both his hands in like a fake casting motion. <laughs> I mean, you know I mean? I'm trying just to hit the middle of it, the pure middle. Okay. Um. I need to, I'm only doing that because it eats the arrow if I do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, you get pretty close to the center of the hole. Um, you hear the impact. Um, and you even see like a piece of your arrow kind of fly out. Um, Chad has kind of like lit up the entirety of the like uh un like the bottom of the pit because when the chair hit it kind of like split into pieces but all those pieces are still kind of like glowing so it's kind of illuminating uh everything up above it um but you can see the smoke going all the way down um and uh but your arrows seem to not do anything. Can't use the secret weapon yet. It's not its time. You got a secret weapon? Behold! That's just an arrow. It's magic. Oh, it's one of those, um... It has an en enchanted tip on it. This just this killed a beast known as the Destroyer. Got a. Is that like some sort of a golem someone made? Some sort of a golem name. No, it was a beast of flesh. It could rip your eyes out just by looking at you weird. Hmm. Must have been a tough fight then, I guess. Definitely. I am stumped. I don't really know what else. Uh, I guess we could keep. Well, we don't have a way to get down. Yeah. We've been here for uh, three weeks trying to figure this out. It's been. It's been. Three. I'm imagining this is just foundation. That these corners, these don't mean anything. Because I don't imagine. You know, I don't think this means anything. Just foundation. It seems to be just foundation, yeah. Uh, short of just blowing up the bottom, I don't really know what else to do. Because we, we fiddled with this and got it to lessen, but that's not... Aside from fiddling with it more, I don't really... And we know that the rune that was on the important pillar was Druidic. And... Putting a rune in front of it made it diminish... Did we try blowing up the pillar outside? Because I feel like at this point, oh, let's if just start, putting just start like, chipping at it. Yeah, why not just chip at the rune outside? Because I, I mean, putting modifying it modified. I feel like that sort of controls the weather around here, though. If you destroy it, I don't know what would happen. I'd well, if, if it was on storm and it was making a storm, then it it falling over. 
prop. I mean, it would either make a storm really concentrate right here, or it would dissipate it. I guess that's a good point. I, I did basically just write the rune for stop after it. So we storm mm. stop, but it only partially did the job, I think. Yeah, so it feels like if we destroyed the rune as opposed to modifying it, it might destroy the gas. Like if, we, hmm. if we just kind of really etch it deeper until it's just not there anymore. I don't, I'm out of ideas. Uh, I guess we can try that. I... Hmm. How is deep is this hole here? About 700 feet, it looks like. You will die if you jump down that, Chad. <laughs> Dream on, starts playing. <laughs> Sing with me, Chad. Chad has a Warhammer. He could break this shit really well. Sing for the year. I'm feeling confident now. No, you're laughing! <laughs> it's eight Dad. Listen, listen, buddy. Oh, <laughs> I don't think it's a real pit. I think this is all just a trick. You'll literally die. I would have jumped down that if I were you. No, it's real. You threw a chair. Perhaps it was fake chair. It was real chair, Rob. It was you real. Don't, you don't know that. It was real. <laughs> <laughs> so he's dead, right? He didn't that jump. Bad. That's just demonstrating what it would yeah, be. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how much damage it would be. <laughs> You'd be all die. Oh, I didn't mean for Kev to roll that. I was just hovered over him. But yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... I really want to do it now. <laughs> if you did, do you want to make a new character? You're gonna have to if you do the <laughs> dust. Um, hmm. I think, I think this, this is the answer. Okay, before you do it, can I have can I have the, the relic that you have on you? That way oh you... yeah, you gave me a new one. Yeah, you could have. Yeah, okay, I've got I've got the relic that I was oh. Thank you. Alright, Chad. <laughs> Chad, you... don't on, jump. Now. Are you really jumping? I'm pretty sure he's it's a not real hole. Jump. He's not jumping Chad. Listen, we've been with each other for a long time, buddy, at this point. <laughs> don't don't jump down this hole. You wanna go together? <laughs> No, I don't want to go together. Is there a medieval equivalent to so a suicide hotline? <laughs> Here, you hold on to this end of the rope. <laughs> I don't hold on to it. He's gonna drag his arm with him. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. Before I do this, I do want to. Anyone got a serrated edge? Like for cutting. Uh, what the, what are you doing? I have a dagger. Oh, can I, mean, I borrow I that? Yeah, sure. There you go. I'm gonna start to saw off my other horn. <laughs> so they're oh. so, so they're equal length. Oh, okay. You can do like getting a haircut. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I didn't. I want to look my best. I didn't know they just came off like that. What? I guess you're preparing to meet God? Eh. Uh, be good beating him. <laughs> He's been, uh... Yeah, Chad, Are you really jumping? I mean, Chad, at this point, I think... I, I, at this point, I think yeah. he's just joking. I, I'd hope so. Can Zort look at the, like, in, inner, uh, like, inner sides of the, like, hole to mm -hmm. see if there's some sort of, like, Markings down there, or to see if like, they like eat close to us, or like what it's made of, any sort of. Uh, you um, all all you see is the um, 
is the, uh, the kind of, like, collapsing staircase that Prawn saw. <laughs> hmm. That staircase doesn't look too safe. <laughs> Chad, did you yeah. jump? <laughs> did you jump? I don't know. Uh, yeah, Chad. No! Chad, uh, <laughs> no! I'm going down. No! He's <laughs> Bruce is going to try to catch you. <laughs> Zort's also going to try to catch him. Zort, make a... A falling knife has no handle. Make a strength check with advantage. Because he's also trying to help you. 15. Uh, I mean, Chad, did you, like, leap off? Or are you, are you just... Did you do the, like, Kratos, Kratos thing? Falling. Are you doing the I did Kratos, the Kratos thing. thing. Okay. Um, I would say that because he's, like, slowly leaning and then falling, I think that both Bruce and Zort catch him. He got a 15. <laughs> he's gonna kill us! <laughs> And you're like, like leaning over the edge. Like if they, if they let go, you would die. But they pull you backwards. You go, whoa. Well, I guess maybe that's not the way you're, out of this mess. Are you crazy? Yes. Get him a, get him away from the edge. Good grief. And he's, <laughs> he like moves you over here. <laughs> Push her down not... the stairs. Caleb has not heard any other ideas. Mm. Yeah, I think we're just about ready to give up. Honestly. So, clearly, Chad has had best ideas so far, and we should let him go. We, I mean... We uh, do not... I guess it could be one of those things where, like, you... <laughs> you, you gotta do, like, a sacrifice, you know? Is that like a druid I... thing? Sounds druid. There's I... gotta be a different way. I don't think that's a druid thing. Oh, no. that, that's like a cult thing, I think. Uh, Alright, everyone outside, away from the hole. <laughs> Let's go chip at the pil the important pillar and get Chad away from the edge. Come on, Chad. Uh, Forward. Okay, but if, if we don't <laughs> figure out a way out of this mess... Then you're just jumping down the hole. Yeah, to see if it works. Man, you really don't like puzzles, huh? I uh, remind me to never get you like a like a like one of those like puzzles like where it's a painting in a box. Yeah, I can't do small pieces. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. um... Meanwhile, at the pillar of evil. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, what are you attempting to do to the, uh, pillar? I say let Chad, with his giant hammer, just break it down the middle. Make it tumble. <laughs> Alright. Uh, make a strength check, Chad. Actually, just do a, uh, attack with your hammer. If you still had that halberd, you could use the pointy end like a chisel, but you don't. Well, you have it, but it's really shitty. Like, rude! It broke! It's... Yeah, I asked you to have it fixed, and Zort pulls it from behind his back. <laughs> it yeah, seems fine I, I, to me! Well, then use the pointy end. You can use it like a chisel and get away at the <laughs> bench. <laughs> You beat the AC of the marble pillar. <laughs> Did it take a good chunk? Uh, roll for damage. I don't know. It breaks his halberd. Like, not again! <laughs> Sword, roll for damage. Roll for damage! Eight. Ooh. Uh, so it's really angry. There is a big chunk of uh, marble that kind of uh, crumbles off of it. Okay, now Chad's turn. Uh, Foundry is not loading. That's Ooh. a gray screen. You might need to refresh. I'm refreshing.
Oh, I'm in. I'm in. I mean, what do I roll for? Uh, uh, damage. Do a, uh, uh, attack. Yeah, attack with your uh, hammer or anything you want to attack the the uh, pillar with. Pillar of autumn. They called it the pillar of autumn. Ted, mind telling me why you're dead at the bottom of this four million foot pit? <laughs> Sir, I hate puzzles. <laughs> it's true. Puzzles are the worst. Chad, when, <laughs> Chad, when someone gives him a jigsaw puzzle with ten pieces. <laughs> Jump off clip. Uh, go ahead and roll for damage. <laughs> Three. Uh, oh, that was... Uh, not the versatile time. Four. Four. Even okay. better. Oh yeah. Uh so you're probably about uh like a third of the way through. Uh just to you know uh for the narrative, after uh, about five minutes, the pillar starts to lean to the right, kinda where prawn is. And yeah, you you move out of the way, and slowly, it kind of falls and crumbles over, and there's kind of this like uh, this like arcane spark that sort of zaps the ground from the room, and uh, you see the smoke disappears from the pit. Well, that worked. And uh, the rain kind of the rain and lightning kind of Im immediately stop, but the uh, Clouds are uh, are still low and dark, but definitely seems to have done something. Is the halberd okay? Uh, it's a little dull on the end, but uh, that's works. About it. Zort, Zort aggressively walks up to Prawn <laughs> with like an angry face. He goes, "I told you!" and then he gives him a bear hug. As undo gan izupud nagavum agarum. So, yeah. Let's go. Are you allowed to say that? Yes! <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to. And Zoot walks inside. You don't right. speak my language. So it starts just talking in Aquan. <laughs> just like, ah, blah, blah. In the fondue, no. I got more words. I got a whole alphabet. Even the, puzzle uh, solved! The, uh, the, the, uh, Ballas just kind of eyes you, Zort, as you're speaking gibberish in his home language. It's also my like I just look at him <laughs> and just in awkward and go, ah, this this freaking guy over here is freaking talking to me in some made up language. Ah. <laughs> I forgot that you were here. <laughs> so anyway, like listen, like, you hear that guy? Bro, Sean Razal. So many words in my language. What, uh... What, uh... Exactly are you saying, Bron? Well, I have it all... I, I put it in Bron chat. Everything I say that's not English, I put in Bron chat for you. So that you could... You could what did know. you... Did you say, like, all that? The first thing is what I... The first thing there is what I said when Zork hugged me. And then I said the second thing. And then I said the third thing. And then I said the thing above the little picture. You noticed, like, Iris just kind of, like, looking at you weirdly. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the first, I'm gonna, actually, I'll just repeat it so you know what the fuck I'm talking I'm gonna say this again to, to her. That's the first language on my sheet. Yes. Does she react? Uh, she replies with the same thing. This is curious. Hmm. I'm gonna have to, like, notion for them to come over here. Okay. Hey, come on over. Maybe a little further away from people. <laughs> yeah. Maybe into a little corner. <laughs> I can ask them, like, what, what, what's up? What do you mean? 
you speak my language. Yes, I mean, lots of things speak that language. Uh, I haven't heard anyone speak it since I've left my home. You speak this language in your home? Where are you from? Mountains. Deep in the mountains. And I pull out our map. Our Rova map, which is mm -hmm. 98%. And I point to the mountaintops. Oh. Right it... here at Heterosexual Mountain. <laughs> I wasn't aware there was any yeah, kind of gay settlement way. here. But, um, yes, hmm. deep. I was a shriner. Oh, it was glorious. I maintained the largest shrines. Well, just the one at the home. I, I sometimes left, but I mostly was just the home shriner. Oh, it was great. You should have been there. How long have you spoke this language? Uh, the past ten years or so. I learned it at a uh, university down south. Oh, so you... Oh, I didn't know they taught it. This language is well. More they than I usually don't, but um, uh, there are a few that uh teach it uh off hours. Hmm. Interesting. See, um, yeah. there were certain spells that um have never been translated into common or anything else that I was interested in, and I oh, I needed to know them. Well, if you have any on you, I can do that now. I speak it proficiently. It's my normal tongue. Oh, well. Uh, I mean, I speak it quite well, too. I also speak my second language. <laughs> Green Fadunu. Uh, she does not seem to be familiar with that one. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. That's the old tongue. We're not supposed to speak that one. But that, today's a good day. So it looks down the hole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Any gas? Uh, there's still some remnants kind of creeping up, but it seems to be like, kind of like after you put out a like fire, you know, it seems to be getting less and less smoke as time goes on. It's pretty Wait, much gone. Down there there's still. Um, the effects of the light spell are starting to wear off. Uh, but it just, I mean, it looks the same. There's just no smoke coming up from it. Was there anything in the middle where the smoke was? Um, you see that there is some sort of basin down there. Like a, kind of like a large, um, like, uh, brazier. Like a large sort of metal torch. Are you firing a bow or an arrow at it? Yep, right an arrow, right there. Uh, you hit it, and it just goes ping, and it echoes up. Large. I guess we're I guess we're done here. I would say so. I mean, I think the smoke is the cause of the storm. It seems like so. I guess you know. Where are you all heading next? Uh, let me pull out the map of Slad. Look, we're going Jordan. all the way to the mountains, deep, deep. The mount. That's cursive. I can't read. Is that an? I don't know how to pronounce that. Is that an R? They didn't teach me cursive in class uh, anymore. I can't read this. That's Mount Zingri, I think. Well, that's, I thought that was an L. Mm. No. Nope. Yeah. Oh, Prod, you really don't know cursive. No, I don't. <laughs> they didn't teach me. Prod, Prod that's common. They you're didn't bragging teach about. Me you're bragging about. Common's Prod. my third language. D&D <laughs> really? Yes. What's your second? You're not permitted to know that. Well, I've heard the other one is a... My more sophisticated language is the one we use for everyday conversation, but the one I only have a little words in is our ceremonial language. We're not supposed to really say that one very often. It's not start speaking really in... oh. ceremonial. I mean, there's lots of creatures no, that the, not, speak not it. The one that, not the one that we speak it, the, the one that you don't speak. Oh. Hmm. Not start... That's the one so you it's... don't speak. <laughs> so it starts speaking in Elvish. Don't you know this one? No, I don't. You're talking to me right now. I don't. <laughs> I don't speak Elvish. <laughs> I thought you did. <laughs> no, I don't speak Elvish. I swear to God, like six <laughs> sessions ago, I've never I speak Elvish. Elvish. And kept I mean, the I... steps up. <laughs> 
He is an I would, elf. I, would, I would assume you would speak <laughs> elvish. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Zort's just sitting in the chair. He pulls out the half of the cabbage he didn't eat when he was like outside and puts it in one of his cooking pots with like some water and makes cabbage stew. <laughs> well, uh, we were gonna we were gonna head west. Um, after we did this one, I guess uh, guess we kind of know what we're working with now, thanks to you. Um, I guess we can all go to the the next one at the outpost. There's probably going to be some corpses there. You fought undead. There's probably more there. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've I never went to a uh, custos. It's kind of out of my league, but uh, I assume there was a we'll lot of people the, there. Oh, no. We'll go there last. Yeah, I mean, uh, this guy is like a like a necromancer guy. Making all these zombies, then I assume where all the uh, people were is probably a bad place to be. Probably, but he's also on. Uh, he's at the mountains. We need to see him, non non violently. Oh, you're actually uh, like going to him? Yes, I told you I'm a courier. Oh, that's right. Are you all messengers? No, a group of messengers. Not. It's oh. it's just me. Oh, I'm not really here. Because I want to be. I'm kind of. I'm. I'm kind of made to be here. Yeah, I don't think anyone's here because they want to be. We're here for the money. You got gypped. I Def- can't say that. that. I should not say that. That's not nice. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not nice to say anymore. It's I forgot not about nice. that. Uh. <laughs> uh. But. Uh, anyway, you he's got just kind of looking at the map. Yeah. Well, I mean, our job was to. I mean, they never said that we had to, you know, kill the guy. They just said that they wanted the weird force field thingy down. Oh, good. We can do that still. Yeah. Well, one of them's done. We could go to the next one. Yeah, I think, uh... Oh, yeah, yours actually says what it is. I guess it's an outpost or something? Yeah, there's gonna be definitely a lot of corpses there. Zombies, probably. Mm. Zombies. Well, it is getting a little late. Uh, we've been here for, uh, you know, th- three weeks uh, in this place, pretty much. It's pretty safe. Uh, I think most of the jungle creatures don't really know uh, how to use ladders. So, um, yeah. If you want to say stay here, you, you can. I mean... Stay here for the night. With all of us, it'll be safe. True. <laughs> Prawn jumps in the hole. No. Okay. Um. Uh, thanks for your help. We're about to pack up and leave, honestly. And uh, they right. they all start to go about their uh, business again. Some go in tents. Some go by the fire. Zort, get over here. I want to test something. Zort has, I assume, finished cooking and eating his cabbage. I'll go to you, you instead. Have, yeah. A lot better. You know your alchemy set. You're... Hmm. You know your alchemy set. Yeah, it's right here. And Zort taps the like bag ha- hanging off of him that's in. Oh, what did I just do? What the fuck did what you just the... do? Try do it again. I don't know what I did. I was just. All, all of a sudden, Zord has the overwhelming urge to kill. He brings <laughs> <it> his <laughs> mate. Kill. Yeah. I don't know. Now, if, you, like if, you can give me, if you can give me an hour or so, I I think I could brew you a potion of sorts. Not with, Give me an hour, and then I'll come back in an hour, and then I'll do it. I, I guess, yeah. I mean, if you wanna. Of course. Oh, I'm gonna... What did you do? What is happening? <laughs> a hold down left click. Yeah, hold down left click. Oh yeah. I've been doing. That's I've been like doing that all 20. game. It's amazing. They implemented roll twenties ping. Yeah. Definitely don't hold down alt. Worst mistake of my life. Oh, that just highlights everything. Oh, yeah, everything. Yeah, a long time ago. I did. And I'm dumb. Okay, I'll say, uh, what were, uh, you and Prawn doing? 
I'm gonna make him. A He's potion. basically a potion. A potion. All right. I gotta wait an hour though. Give me an hour. <laughs> Why do you need to wait an hour? Give me an hour. I'm done with my sort walk. I'm I'm done with my meal. Like, you why do you need to wait? I gotta meditate. Give me an hour. What What does that mean? What it means, it means I gotta meditate. Give me an hour. Okay, I'm gonna make a potion in the meantime. All right, you make and a potion in the meantime. I'll come back in an hour. To, can Zort try to make a potion out of the dinosaur material? Uh, what potion? And like, what do you? Uh, uh, I think he's gonna try to make a healing potion. Try okay. to make something. That gives some life into people. Um, maybe, uh, maybe go investigate the outside plants if he needs to. Mm -hmm. You have alchemist supplies. Correct. He does. Yeah. Bam. Uh. See. Yeah, okay. Um a tin. Um I would say it takes you about half an hour resort, but you do find some uh Let's see. If you I don't know if you uh have this open. I think I share this with you, but that's like what your book is. It's that is is yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that on my desktop right now. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, Fun. you do find um some red uh Amanita mushrooms. Uh, you find mm -hmm. a uh a bunch of uh three, and um uh huh. You can uh, I would say you get. Um, about, you get, uh, in the time that Prawn is meditating, you can get one made, and it's just a, uh, normal potion of healing. Excellent. Oh, it's style, styling on. Yeah, sure. Do you have access to the items tab, right? I believe so, yeah. Okay. It's under... Search. Search. Ocean of Healing. Then you just drag and drop it. Uh, I... It's just blank for me. I, oh, weird. Here. I did it fine the last time. Uh, I just added it. Oh, cool. There you go. And, uh, it's been about an hour. Ron. Zort. I need to add a potion. I need to add one of those to my inventory so I can do it, but... Oh, one what? Here, just use mine. I can't make rolls on yours. It won't let me click the button. It won't you let you click that button? Yeah, there's no button I can press. I gotta add it to me. Uh, oh, that's, here, that's a shame. I can do it. Oh, uh, it's, what's your intelligence modifier? It's, uh, it's the same as Zort, okay. Uh, but I have proficiency. Oh, okay, so you got a 14, I think. Uh, yeah, 14. What are you trying Zort. to make? I, before I did this, I discussed with Zort what he, what would he like me to make? No. Oh. I thought you were gonna just make me something. Go ahead. <laughs> make it. Your ball game. A poison. A poison? You could put it on your cowbird and hurt people really bad. I'm sure, I'll take a poison, I guess. Poison. Me, when I search for uh, poison and there's 164 results. Oh fuck yeah, there is. Uh, do you? Uh, I assume you let him look at uh your book, Zort. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he can I'm, figure. I'm, out. I'm. 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 Yeah. I'm, check I'm out this book. Yeah. I'm gonna send the book to him. There you go. Oh, this is a big book. 
I mean, it's a very big book. Yeah, it is. Oh, damn. <laughs> what the fuck? And it, uh, it actually tells you the, like, ingredients and stuff. Around here. What do you have? What do we have on us? Uh, currently I have about 17 pounds of dinosaur material. <laughs> some gray magic dust. Um, let's see, um... I've got bones. I have the burial guide. Don't get rid of that. That's if I die. So you can bury me. He so it starts skimming it. Oh, that's for me. If I die, I wrote that. Oh for you. no! What? <laughs> I rolled a four in your burial. <laughs> no, you could roll it. <laughs> and for some reason, I love. I all. I I do this a lot. Oh, that twenty burial. <laughs> oh, twenty you burial. Really know how to bury me good. Oh my, there's a potion called D Dracula's Essence. We yeah, we saw that. that last time. We have to make that. You need D Dracula's blood and dragon blood. <laughs> I need something with, like, dust or, like... Oh, I have gray dust. I have sweet baby's dust yeah, on me. I'm, try I'm trying to find an ingredient dust. with some dust. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just put shit together and see if we can dis discover something new. I... <laughs> Make a new potion. Let's try it. Dusty brother. one. Dusty. All right, here's some dust. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna actually do a big dust. I'm gonna grind some of my smaller bones to dust, and then come Peppa. <laughs> Pep. <laughs> I'm gonna grind my bones to dust, and then I'm gonna just, a, just a pinch, combine them into with it with a maybe a little bit of ink, just a little mm -hmm. drop. We're gonna brew. See okay. what happens. Uh, you start mixing the ingredients on the heated water, and uh, you put all the in ingredients in, and then sprinkle the uh, gray dust in, and uh, pretty much everything in the bottle just sort of dries up, and it kind of like uh, the bottle kind of implodes and shatters, like gets sucked in, and then just gets uh, like sh like shattered. And it Zord, falls to the we... ground. Zord, I think... I think we made an antimatter bomb. I don't know what you just did. Zord, it didn't... I think we we found a way to suck all the air out of, out of something. So it's what? Let me write this down. Sweet baby's dust and... What, did, what else did you... Bone dust with a drop of ink. Bone dust drop of ink makes it implode. You, if you make, well, that would, that'd be a pretty fucked up way to kill someone. Oh, I'm sorry. What, force feed a toy? I, 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 I completely messed that up. I. Okay, it didn't happen. Never mind. <laughs> it didn't what happen. I'm sorry. Oh no, sweet baby's dust. So, the, uh, you, you add the dust. <laughs> I was, no. I was reading the wrong item. That's my bad. Um. Ah, you read bitter baby's dust. <laughs> yeah. Um. You sprinkle it into the uh, boiling water with the ingredients in it, right? And um, instantly, um, the glass shatters, <laughs> and um, on the side of the fire falls a hunk of marble in the same shape as the uh, glass that broke, but it is solid. Absorbed. And it's tinged black with ink. Huh. I guess the ink just kind of acted like a dye there, but we made instant marble. So water with a bunch of bone dust, and yep. we only we didn't use a lot. So if we just fill a giant vat, we could get into the marble making business, baby. We could make like a whole temple out of this stuff. Write that down for me, Zord. I might have you some contract right. work in the future. Alright, so... Okay. Um, there isn't a whole lot in the bag. Um, okay, now that we... You we can go to a professional and get more there's, later. There's probably four... Or, sorry. 
Uh, eight. Four dust. No, there's eight more, like, pinches of dust left. We'll, we'll keep it safe from here out, but we gotta experiment and make some crazy shit, Zork. Alright. Uh, before everyone turns in for tonight, is there anything else anyone wants to do? That was refreshing. And I Have you considered to kill him? Ooh, kill him. Uh, I believe we're gonna end the session there. Yippee! Yippee!